消耗ばかりしていると暴行が来るぞ。Fuck, I forgot the OBS thing again. <laughs> Welcome with it, everyone to yet another day for you to turn the OBS virtual camera on. There I say business as usual. Come on, OBS Studio. Come on. Uh huh? Over here, properties. Go for your video. White balance. Take the bitch up to 3K. Bop, 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 bop. Apply. Okay. Okay. Start virtual camera. Here we are. Hello, everyone. <laughs> we are back against the 3DS wearing the same top. Two of them looking the exact same, which is honestly kind of spooky, not gonna lie. That makes me a little bit sketched out as to what the uh, intention of these fellas are. Which, it may or may not be to kick my ass relentlessly, so we are going to maybe bring in uh, some really fucking good perks to help us out with this. Because uh, if you see three survivors kind of looking the same like that, yeah, that's pretty That's pretty sketch. <laughs> uh, hopefully they don't sneak in. I mean, what could they sneak in? They could sneak in uh, keys way back in the day, and that shit was absolutely fucking horrendous, but nowadays, not so much. I can sneak in like three flashies right at the end of the game, but that's not really going to be a huge deal. Uh, they're sneaking a bunch of fucking keys back when, you know, keys were fucking broken. That would be a bit of an issue. But right now, it seems that we have uh, two exactly equal Nias when wearing the same top, but not the same, uh, the rest of her clothes are different. And then you got, uh, the one lonely, lonely, uh... Claudette, that's all unique, all, all on her own. Special little snowflake, as it were. <clears throat> so that should be fun and interesting. Also, my mind is a little bit... That's a little bit better. A little bit better. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 
It's gaming time. <clears throat> and there are no map offerings. We do need to lower the volume a little bit. Good morning, Melon. Welcome on in. How are you doing? Uh, boom. And now... We'll see what godforsaken map we get sent to. Hopefully not one that's like horrendously uh, dog shit, but jury's still out. We'll see how that goes, right? Remains to be seen. Not that great, but also not that bad. That's not, well, not great to hear, but also not bad to hear. You know? Right in the middle. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be, right? As uh, Daddy Thanos said. As, you know, the, the purple, purple eggplant man. Slash Albergine, whatever, whichever word you choose to use to describe purple. <sighs> Something in between that, but slightly more bad. Okay, so like, I guess like a 4 out of 10. You know, 5 is like perfectly in the middle average. I guess you're like at a, a 4. I'm sorry to hear, my friend. But at the same time, not being terrible, I suppose, is, you know, something to be maybe happy about. Even if it's a, a shitty kind of happy, if you know what I mean. You're fucking... Mm, this game is already... It's been two seconds, man, and this game is already messing with me. What is this? I wasn't even close. I didn't even give me the killer instinct, huh? It's been two seconds, and this fucking game is already... Bullshitting me. Uh, cheeky, cheeky clicker. I never... Uh, apparently not. Not close enough. Ah, I'm just gonna go ahead and not bother with you, actually. I'll go for whoever's on this uh, generator, and I think I have indeed caught you out of position. Bonk. I'd be going for you instead. Should I drop that pallet, right? Oh my god, I can't see, bruh. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm in for a tough time. I do imagine. I think I need to put these like a little bit further back. Uh. Oh nice, I got them to miss. These guys seem rather good. 4.99999 out of 10. Yeah, that's pretty that, that's pretty inconsiderate of you, my friend. I'm sure Thanos is going to be very upset. Uh they got a boon because why wouldn't they? Yeah, I think this is gonna be that kind of match, but oh well. It is what it is. Uh, ouchies. Just gonna have to deal with it. I think you're just gonna what, hold W? You're gonna dead hard through it? Ah, oh, well, good fucking teamwork. That was very clever of you. I did not expect that one. Not gonna lie. Good fucking work. Uh, I'm also very uh, rusty from the looks of it. You're gonna be fine because you have a dead heart, so you make it a pallet. Oh, thank god you misused it, otherwise you would have been okay. Uh, hi. You're the one flashy gamer. Uh, do I have to be concerned? Oh yeah, you got another one. Yeah, that's unfortunate. There's zero chance that they're not gonna be like all around me. And if I don't like flush them out, they're 1000% gonna be able to get this flashy save, guaranteed. I can fucking assure you. Uh, so yeah, this is a bit of a tough one. I guess you just like went down in a bit of a a bad spot, if you know what I'm talking about. Because if I could like shove my face like on the... If I could shove my face on a wall, that would be no big deal at all. Uh, and they have a circle of healing so they can get away with like just self-healing over and over and over again. Boy, is this fucking... Okay. Yeah, yeah, I called that. Sure, you're so fucking good. I mean, to be fair, she is very good, but you, you get what I mean. She's not, you know, they're not doing this well because they're good. They're doing this well because the, the fucking decks are stacked against me with the fucking nonsense that they brought. The decks, as if we're playing more than multiple. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and then you do that. <laughs> oh. I love playing killer. It's so much fun. Oh, man. Uh, let's try. Yeah, they all, they all like, I don't know. They didn't snuck the flashies in, but it seems that all four of them have them now. Interestingly enough. Uh, 
would be nice to get rid of the totem. I guess there's not really a point in me. I am slowing them down, I suppose, but not by a whole lot. Not by a whole lot at all. Oh. Uh. Does I do this and then you have a data hard? Yeah, no surprises. All right, bless. I still have to worry about the flashy saves, though. Have you got one? What? 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 <laughs> dude, ninjas. <laughs> Absolutely. How'd you get there? Ninjas, dude. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And she's not in my FOV at all. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> uh... I think I just have to accept the fact that I, there's no way I ever win this match. And I just have to... I don't know, just try to get as many downs as I can and shit. It's like they're playing this very, you know, as safe as they can while doing this stuff. They hard counter my killer with their flashies. They have the best perks, they have a circle of healing. Yada yada yada, there's just like absolutely nothing I can really do about it. If we're gonna be realistic. So I might as well just, you know, try to have as much fun as I can while, you know, being, uh, dealing with this, uh, nonsense. But to be fair, they are very good. They have to be sort of, uh, you know, get away with this stuff. If a shitty team, if a shitty team tries to pull this off, they just fucking annihilate themselves, like, realistically. Gonna dead hard somewhere. Not gonna lie, kinda obvious. And now comes the question: Can your team somehow get a flashy save going? Huh? No, but not due to lack of trying. Uh, you don't. You guys block this? I don't think so, right? Hmm, I think I'm still fine. Nope. Never mind. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Or should I have done there? I feel like I could have done much, to be honest. If I'm gonna be for realsies. Bonk. Then they all fall back in circle of healing themselves, so none of their actions have any consequences. Yeah, Mel, it's one of those matches, but hey, what can you do? They all have that hard, they all have like, you know, the most like bullshit, unfair perks. But is dead by daylight, right? Should have brought, should have brought fuck, like no way or some shit. Then you know, then the f field would have been evened out a little bit. I'd be able to, you know, maybe get a, like a snowball towards the end. Hmm. That's why I don't play killer. Yeah, very, <laughs> very uh, relatable to be honest. Lots of times I do feel like I should just like stick survivor, but I don't know. I feel uh, uh, killer, killer's fun. Like, when you don't deal with this uh, horse shit, I feel like killer is the most fun, personally. <laughs> but uh, you are at the mercy of the survivors not, you know, doing this sort of uh, garbage. I didn't feel like... Yeah, it is, it is, that is also true, actually. If you are... Uh, like, survivor has a lot more downtime, which I guess makes it a lot more chill at the same time. But, you know. Just gonna, what, like, do the bird on my thing? Or do the, the flashy, I ought to say? <clears throat> bonk, bonk. So it makes it a whole lot more chill. But at the same time, uh, not as exciting. And you have a dead heart, so once again, literally no consequences. Oh, never mind. Guess, yeah. Oh, sure already use it, yeah. Uh, but then you all have flashy, so I literally cannot pick you up. Good heal attack, good job. Yeah, they're really good, but unfortunately this is one of those where I just can't do anything. Like a flashy on every single one of them, so I literally have no power. They all have, you know, the most like bullshit perks you can ever imagine. Good stuff. Mm, that hard, that hard, that hard, that hard. The one circle of healing. Uh, two flashies that they managed to find, which was super lucky for them given the kill that I that I had. 
So yeah, great survivors. Very well played. Although, not gonna lie, very frustrating to deal with. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is, right? That'd that, that just be DBD. Yeah, not a single off meta perk. Not a single fucking one. On 16 meta perks to deal with. Oof. Ouchies. Ouchies. Let's go in again and hope that next time it's not uh, as rough. I think the play there would have been to, you know, bring perks that are as bullshit rights as, like, as like a no-ed. But then you can, like, know ahead of time. Because if I have a no-ed, then I can just, like, slug the fuck out of them. And that becomes, you know, exponentially easier to uh, pull off a win there. Regardless of how bad I'd done throughout the... Or how bad I did throughout the entire match. But I have no way of knowing ahead of time <laughs> whether the survivors are going to bring all this garbage, right? Blech. So I just go in with like a build that's like solid, but not like too fucking insane. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No flashes this time at least, so it's gonna be nice playing playing as the artist. It's not, it wasn't even about the. I guess the flashy saves did come into play, to be fair, because I couldn't get any uh, gen regression because they kept uh, saving them. But it, most of the issue was that I couldn't get any downs because I literally had no power because they would just like chase me around and then like use their flashies to uh, get rid of the birds. It was very unfortunate they, they managed to uh, plunder like two flashies on top of the two that they already brought. So that was just unlucky across the board in all the ways. But once again, it'd be like that. That was fucking fast as fuck. And now maybe the game is going to fuck with us in a different way by sending us to a shit map. This wasn't even a survivors. But let's not lose our minds just yet because, you know, we don't know for a fact that this is going to be another horrible match. I've had plenty of like good matches in Batum. Because mostly, you know, with the survivors not being able to uh, make as much use of the the map as they maybe otherwise should. So let's not, you know, assume it's going to be a horrible match right off the bat. Even though the map has everything to provide the survivors with such an experience. Uh, no, still not close enough. Shame. Uh, 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 uh. Does he get lucky? Well, maybe he's got a window, so maybe it's not even about luck, actually. Bonk. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I feel like with how powerful the main building is. Oh, two of them. Okay. Probably best to just like drop chase there, right? Are you not trying to get rid of the birds? That's interesting. Um. Don't really know why she wasn't trying to get rid of them. But yeah, I'll take it. Not after the best start imaginable, so I will take what I can get. Whoops. Boink. Uh, I actually don't know which gen is the one that has the most progress. Because they missed a skill check on one. Uh, I will let go of that one, I think, if I have to. Because that one is slightly tougher to defend. Uh, okay, this is a bill now. You know what I think I'm going to do, actually? I'll go ahead and kick this and then move up to the house. Except I'm not because I see this motherfucker over here. <laughs> I'm quite as sneaky as you think you are, my friend. Sorry to tell you. Don't think he's going to... Yeah, he's going to hold W. We're going to hold W right after him. Uh, 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 uh. I think you're in a bit of trouble, right? Because you have to vault that, yeah. Oh, uh, well, why Why would I ever assume that any survivor ever doesn't have that hard? That's a mistake on my part, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm -mm. You're gonna go on this scourge hook, which is gonna give us some intel. Okay. 
two people there. That fella's also there. Uh, no tinker just yet. Oh, can we... Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother. I'll just uh, prioritize the gen ahead of time. Because we're doing good, but... It could very easily get way the fuck out of hand. I dare say there's somebody around here, yeah. <laughs> Why am I talking like that? I dare say... There's somebody, somebody around here. Don't know why you didn't take a vault, but I'll take it. I shall not complain. I know that maybe this girl just doesn't know how to play against the bird lady, because she wasn't even bothering removing her her birds last time. And at least one gamer we know that hard. But who was it that we down? Oh, yeah, it was you. Okay. Yeah, one person with that hard, one with, and two unknown. That's still in this progress now. See somebody there with barbecue, that's a bill. We never chased you. Let's go around. Dun, 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 dun. Nice. Uh, I'll go ahead and, and just keep the chase going. It's a bit of a corner gen, it's like kind of shitty, so if I do end up losing, I'm not too concerned about it. I think trying to get this. Uh, Trying to get this quickly is uh, more beneficial to us. If we can make it happen, which we were able to, so bless. Yoink. Uh, righty. Hey, Charlie. Welcome on in, Mr. Pizza. How are you? Mm. Uh, what? Because, like, you we down once. And you had that hard. That's, like, the intel we have on you at the moment. Try to isolate you off the, uh, off that side. Make sure you don't go there anymore. Um, I snipe this. Aw, oh, close, but not quite. How are the games going? Uh, this one's going pretty good. The last one was absolutely horrendous. Although, we've only played two games so far. First one was absolutely terrible. We're playing as the artist as well. We went against a team of four flashies, which was a... Well... Huh? Some tinker value. Uh, it was pretty shit because uh, they, they were quite good on flashy saves. And we kept getting unlucky with how uh, we downed them. Yeah, and they wouldn't, like, go down anywhere where we could pick up safely, so we just kept uh, having a really hard time, uh, like, capitalizing on our downs. <laughs> uh, we had no power, because the, the birds will, or sorry, the flashes will hard counter the uh, your birds. They were able to just, like, get rid of them that way with the, the flashes. Uh, they all have that hard. They were together, so there was teamwork. Uh, they were pretty good, to their credit. They uh, had a circle of healing, so you know they were able to take hits for each other, blah, 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 and I couldn't punish that because they would just be able to fall back and heal themselves in no time whatsoever. You know, the works. Basically, like, every single... One thing that wasn't bullshit was the map, because there was no map offering, and then we did end up going to a map that was okay, but at the end of the day, it didn't matter. Because they had uh, too much stuff going their way. Plus, we, like I said, we literally had no power. Because they were just like, you know, with their teamwork, they were able to just go around. Any person I was chasing, they would go around and, uh, <clears throat> that was, I should not have shot that. They would, they would go around, uh, like, destroying birds for each other. Then if I try to go, oh, okay, so then I know I'll hit you and I'll punish you. Then, like, the, the first person I was chasing would just go and uh, heal themselves. And somebody else would t take over with the flashy, so on and so forth. Then, you know, anytime I would get close to getting a hit, they were just that hard into, into safety. Blah, 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 blah. You all know how it goes. <laughs> Everybody knows how it goes sometimes, DBD, right? One of those matches, that's what it was. But now, this one's... Very much going our way overall. This girl, I'm pretty convinced, is not aware of how to 
play against Bird Lady because she keeps not getting rid of her birds. So that makes uh, injuring her pretty fucking easy. Uh, nice. And if she does the same, I can just, you know, plop down three birds. Yep, <laughs> she never gets rid of them. I don't understand it, but I'm not gonna complain. We got good, good RNG as well with this, uh... uh yeah. <laughs> Bill's gonna think twice about it. Yeah, sorry, bro. Uh, DS or something? Why he stop like that? No? Huh. Yeah, I don't know why he, uh... I just left like that. Or sorry, not left, but I don't know why he just, uh... I don't know, died or something. <laughs> not quite aware. But it is what it is. Uh, somebody over here, that's this fella. I believe you are that hook, right? The fang is that one person I've only caught once. This guy is pretty, pretty smart. In regards to how he plays around the birds, you're gonna drop this now. Oh my god, you're not? Never mind. You are indeed nutty. I should not have bothered, honestly, uh, putting that bird down. Uh, 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 uh. Bonk. Ooh, nice. Nowhere near close enough to get an actual hit, but still. You guys are gonna be happy <laughs> with that. <laughs> Why not? Uh, you have already used your pallet down here. You're aware of that. You maybe dead heart to that window. Yep, you definitely do, but it does not matter because you do not make it anywhere else now that you've already had to use your get out of jail free card, sir. So I believe it is death for you unless you are not the person who's done a hook. I suppose we're about to find out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Boink. And what do we got? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam. Bam. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> How about that? There you go. It's about to say no uh, offering for hatch, but I guess we didn't really need it. Because the gods was like, you know what? We're just going to spawn it right in front of you. Hello, Ramen. Welcome on in. How are you doing? Although, my friend, I'm afraid that you may be on the wrong person's stream. I do not know who this Mr. Depp that you speak of is. If you're talking about Johnny Depp, I wasn't aware that he, uh... He streamed at all. The one thing I can confirm is that it is not me, I'm afraid. But either way, how are you? I wonder if she's trying to, like, plunder a key or something. These gates are pretty... Pretty good for us. Plus, we are artists, so it's really, really nice on an end game situation like this. Maybe she recognizes that and she's just trying to go in plunder a key. Which wouldn't be a bad idea, but you know, she has to like, spend the time on the chests, she has to get lucky finding a key, then she has to get lucky finding the hatch, so. It is exponentially more difficult, unless you brought it one herself, and I just didn't realize it. That's also a possibility, I suppose. Uh, 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 no, no, hmm. Or she is one of those gamers that just dies like a champ. It just refuses to, you know, they just die to the timer. <laughs> How's Mrs. Hurd? I do not know who Mrs. Hurd is, I'm afraid. So, I unfortunately cannot ask that question. Oh, she got hatch. Or is she just gonna let herself die? No, she's just dead. What was that then? Ah, oh, she's, yeah, she's vaulting this window. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if she was like looking, who knows, right? Maybe look for a key. Maybe just to realize that the gates were kind of shit for her. And she'd rather die at the timer. But who knows? 
Who knows? Uh, that's our daily completed. Bless. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And now... Uh, one dead hard. Two dead hards. Never dealt with fangs too much. Oh, three dead hards, actually. Yeah, a lot of good perks, but I guess it didn't put them to, to use so much. Like one, two, three dead hards. Uh, one, two, three iron wheels. One, two, three, four borrow times. Uh, one, just a one DS. And then one sprint burst. Yeah, I guess it just didn't put the perks to so much good use, but they were pretty like stacked when it came to that. So good thing it went our way. Wonderful. And as always, my friends, if anybody wants to pick a killer, all you gotta do is drop in chat. Be my guest. We got all of them. You beautiful fellas know the drill. Right now, we're going to do a little bit of a self-harm, as the kids say it, around the block. And we're going to be playing fucking Legion. Which it's, uh... Unlikely to work out, right? But... Let's keep our fingers crossed, see how it goes. You never know. I could maybe put the, you know, try to attempt to stack the odds slightly in my favor and put in a, a, uh, an offering for a good map. But I'm afraid we do not have any offerings for any good map, so... I guess not so much. Uh, I guess something like an indoor map would be good, right? Because, like, this is a terrible map, terrible map, terrible map, terrible map, terrible map, terrible map. Uh, okay map. Sorry, terrible, 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 terrible map. And then the glasses would send us to Larry's, which, you know what, I'm not going to leave it up to fate. I'll send myself to Larry's, fuck it. <laughs> hey, Voitech, welcome on in. Doing good, my friend, how are you? How has your... What day is it today? Tuesday, how has your Tuesday been? Hoping you are good and well and that your Tuesday has gone. Nicely. Mm -mm -mm. One flashy, one medkit, and that's all she wrote for the looks of it. But then again, you never know, and uh, you never know when, uh, what do you call it? When they're going to plunder items, right? <laughs> Which is what happened in the, the first artist match. Been playing Dark Souls for the past like two weeks. The game's pretty fun, but I thought it would be more difficult. I mean, once you once you got past Sek Sekiro, I think you know uh, you're not gonna be dealing with too much difficulty from it. Because I feel like the the most difficult thing about Dark Souls is like playing your first Souls game. You know, like trying to get past like that phase where like you're learning everything and you're understanding the controls and you're understanding like the timing of things and you know and like how the systems and the mechanics work. And what the, I don't know, I guess like the, the meta or whatever is. Once you get past that, I think like that's it, you know. Because I remember playing uh, like Dark Souls for the first time. And I fucking uh, thought it was like, oh my god, unbelievably, brutally, fucking incredibly difficult, right? But then at some point, like some like clicked in my brain. Then after that, like no Souls game was ever as difficult as the first Dark Souls. And, you know, like, uh, I played Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Demon Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, none of them. You know, of course, here and there you have, like, some bosses that are, like, really tough, right? But overall, uh, no game has ever been, or, or no Souls game has ever been as difficult as the first Dark Souls. And I'm sure the main reason for that is because, you know, they're all, like, very similar mechanically and shit, right? So you, you play one, by extension, when you play the other, you have a, a ton of uh, experience. Didn't finish it yet, not even close actually, just did Bed of Chaos. Uh, I'll say you are closer to the end than you are to the beginning. But, because that, that's the thing about Dark Souls, right? Is that it, you have like a fairly linear path. But then right uh, towards the end, it opens up and then you can take things in uh, an order of your choosing. So it is, you know... It's possible they're like, oh shit, you're one boss away from the, the final boss. Or you could be like several bosses away from the final boss. Depending on, you know, which uh, which of the four... What the fuck? Which of the four fancy pants uh, bosses you've... Uh, uh, that's gonna be blocked off, we know that much at least. Which which of the fancy bosses you've chosen to tackle? Ha 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 ha. I mind-gamed your mind game. 
Hell yeah. But yeah, uh, did you did you beat the the Battle of Chaos, Wojtek? Because that is, you know, like uh, everyone, myself included, would consider that to be like the single worst boss in Souls history. And I would love to know. I would love to know your thoughts on it. Because the Battle of Chaos is just, oh boy, absolute dog shit as far as a boss goes. Pretty weird. Oh, it's so bad. Like I get what they try to do. And I guess it's it's really cool, you know. But like it's pretty, yeah. It's like it's pretty like RNG. I guess is the biggest issue. Uh, oh, nice. He got off the gym. I think he had to, but it was this loser running around with a knife? The good old Legion himself, the Lord of Self Harm. Welcome on in, Luxor. How are you doing? <laughs> Oh, uh, sadness, absolute sadness. How's it going? It's going good. This is our third match. Uh, I'm not really expecting to do too good here, but at the same time, I only really want a daily. We had uh, two matches before this one. The first one went one of the worst matches I've ever played in all DBD. Uh, the second one went quite good. This one remains to be seen. But once again, playing Legion, I don't really expect to be... To be doing too hot, right? But how's it going with you? And yeah, Wojtek, it's fucking Battle of Chaos. Is, uh, it feels very like RNG heavy, in the sense that like depending on how the you know the Battle of Chaos itself decides to like swipe and shit. Nah, that's fucking that's a bullshit tile. But what's what's new, right? Uh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, depending on like what way the bed of swipes, <laughs> the bed of swipes, the bed of chaos decides to swipe at you. Sometimes it can like swipe a bunch and it never gets you. Other times it's literally impossible to avoid. Fuck. I think I get you here eventually though. Oh, you have a dead hard. Okay, cool. Now we know. Uh, you already used everything around this area, right? Dear fucking god, the game's damn determined to fucking give you more though. Holy fucking shit. I wonder if they're trying to go for uh, like saddle plays or something. So they all have a uh, horsey perk. Welcome in, Wes. How are you doing? I'm alright. Happy to hear you're happy, ha happy to hear you're right. Sorry to hear you're not great. Then again, alright is better than bad, right? So if we're gonna look on the bright side and all that good stuff, at least there is that. Uh, oh, you kind of messed up. There I say. Mm. Just had the best workout. I'm happy to hear, my friend. Sounds like a rewarding good time. They got like a billion pallets. Yeah, I mean, RNG, right? Good old DVD RNG. I don't know what the fuck kind of algorithm they uh, they use in order to... I thought I saw somebody, but that's just my fucking PTSD coming in, I guess. I know what the hell kind of algorithm they use this to they, they use to fucking decide how many pallets they get, but we all know how fucked it can be. And this seems to be one of those where they got a uh, seventeen thousand pallets just vibing around. Which is not great. I think I'm gonna have to start like tunneling over here to send a chance to be honest. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh dead hard, let's not forget. So you make it to that pallet, yep. And use bloodlust to my... Uh, oh my god, they do have lots of fucking pallets, don't they? God damn, son. Mm. Got double swipe once, I was left at like 1% of HP, gotcha. Yeah, luck can definitely come in and play there. Big time. I really don't want to cook you here, but I don't think I have a fucking choice. Oh, I think she has breakout, dude. Fuck. Well played. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like hardcore, like hard tunnel this dude and hope for the best. But even then, uh, it's dicey at best. Still have this fucking pallet. Yeah, you do. Uh, fun, fun. Plane killer, so much fun, guys. Yay. <laughs> the Legion buff live. Nah, it, it should be tomorrow, I think, guys. 
So, oh shit, I forgot to change the thing. So it's pretty exciting that, you know, tomorrow Legion will be slightly less dog shit. But I'm afraid, as of right now, we are still dealing with the current reality of ex exceedingly dog shit Legion. That can do absolutely fucking nothing. And, you know, and uh, the, yeah, the, the, the map. And I guess I did this to myself. I sent myself to this fucking godforsaken place. Which, uh, to be fair, usually isn't this dog shit, but holy fuck, they got like the 17 billion pallet offering, it would seem. So, you know, they there's no fuck up big enough that they can make to give me a down in these conditions. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, if you have Dead Heart, you're fine. Thank god you didn't. The update is not up while you're playing Legion. Billy, I uh, I have a daily for this man. That is the reason I'm afraid. Otherwise, I would not be touching Legion with a fucking 25,000 foot pole. Because boy, oh boy, we all know how painful it can be. Uh, I literally cannot even afford to go for you. How did they not, have they not finished this yet? Oh, there you go. Amazing it took that long. <laughs> Rero, I wouldn't want to harm myself like this. It's okay. I mean, when it's just one match, you know? It's like you go in expecting to fucking get your ass kicked, right? And not send a chance, and that is exactly what happened. So, it's all good. It's all good. Same with Hillbilly. I think I think Hillbilly can be totally good, depending on... Uh, I, you know, I, 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 I consider Legion the worst killer in the game. And I know that is a controversial pick. I feel like everybody can agree that he's absolute dog shit, but whether or not... You would call him uh, the single worst killer in the game. That is, you know, that is a different, different result. But I think Billy, I would put like maybe like on a high C or a low B tier. So I think Billy's like solid. Legion is just absolutely zero redeeming qualities with this man. I'll just eat this pallet in case she's got that hard. Oh, she does. <laughs> oh, Christ. It'd be what it'd be. Billy's a lot better than Legion, yeah. Billy's quite hard to play, right? Yeah. I feel like Billy is is, is definitely a tough one. And he's not great, but... Compared to Legion, he might, he might as well be playing fucking Nurse, you know? I am better than Legion, right? Exactly, your namesake and everything, right? You're way better than Legion. You're, Billy's a fucking solid as hell killer. Even if he's not a... Uh, I literally don't make it. Because he's got a pallet and he has dead heart and that gate's 99. God, I fucking hate dead heart so fucking much. One day, ladies and gentlemen, one day behavior will fucking grow a brain and do something about this godforsaken perk. But until then, we are stuck in this reality of fucking survivors just cannot make mistakes that cannot be eat away. Oh man, just heal in the face of the killer like that? Who cares? Just E. One of you has breakout. This girl's gonna leave in a second. Good fucking job. Christ, man. Also, how are you doing, Billy? Welcome on in, my friend. Hope you're doing good. Credit where credit is due. They have played good. But at the same time, that is some fucking horseshit this map is. Plus all the dead hearts and shit. Not even the map, it's just like the sheer amount of fucking palace that they have. So it's like so hard for them to make a mistake, and once they do fuck up, finally, they can just press E and be totally fine. Oh boy, <laughs> this is how that hard is intended to be played. Maybe bigger exhaustion. I, I think they, I, I think they need to rework it entirely. One thing, like just like right off the bat, I think remove iframes, right? So you can't just like fucking dead hard into the killer and become in literally invincible. That's like one thing they can do right off the bat. Even then, it's still gonna be like super fucking exceedingly powerful. So even then, I don't think it would fix the issue. But man, oh man, if they, if I could just press a button and delete that hard off the game, I would. I would get a hammer to hit that shit with, dude. I cannot tell you how hard I would fucking press that button. God, man. It's just like, when you compare it, 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 it shows you, or you can see how ridiculous it is when you see it in comparison to, uh, to like, every other exhaustion perk, right? Like, every other exhaustion perk is about sort of, like, having, like, upsides and downsides, and you having to, like, manage it, and you having to be, like, smart about it. Dead Heart is press E to win. 
and that's you know it does not matter what mistake you made it does not matter how hard you fucked up press e and you'll be fine yeah, I have and you know and I, I guess you can make a mistake and then also make a mistake when you're doing that hard in which case you are you just dead hard into a wall and it doesn't really do much for you but you get my point right as long as you use the dead hard right it's like oh i fucked up and the killer i, I mind game myself or the killer mind game me it doesn't matter i dead hard i make to the pallet i drop it on the killer's face easy peasy oh i misjudged and it, it turns out that I actually can make it over here. No worries, dead hard for distance. Then I make it to the window. No problem. Easy peasy. <laughs> it's just fucking every time, man. Thank you, Billy. That is, yeah, that is the the, the redeeming feature, right? It's the Legion skin. Also, welcome on in, Colin. How you doing, my friend? What's up? Uh, pain is up because we're playing really shit killer and we got really bad RNG. Also good survivors to their credit when we last played uh, this last match, but... Apart from that, now we are uh, free to play a, a not dog shit <laughs> fucking killer. Hey, Clamora, welcome on in, my friend. Uh, I assume you were one of the survivors. If that's the case, GG well played. You guys were really fucking good. And boy, oh boy, that was a fucking tough match for me. And there were so many goddamn pellets. But well played. Yeah? I'll answer your question in just a second. Yeah, I said, I said what's up, Colin? <laughs> I'm not ignoring him. But, uh, that was a mistake, my friend, on my part. Because, like, Larry's is not even that dog shit of a map, and I honestly just wanted to put in an offering to make sure that I wouldn't, uh, end up going to, like, a really, really bad map, like the game or Badham or something like that. But, man, the RNG came back to just absolutely destroy me. There were pallets fucking everywhere. <laughs> Holy hell. But, sometimes it'd be like that. And I was only playing Legion to begin with in order to, you know, in order to, uh... What do you call it? To get the uh, the daily done? So, got that done. <laughs> but Clamora, thank you for checking out the stream. Very appreciated. Super well played. You guys did fucking amazing. And uh, if you'd like to pick a killer for us or anybody else in chat, including you, my beautiful way, Colin, if you would like to, any of you would like to pick a killer for us, all you must do is drop it in chat. And thank you very much for the follow, my friend. I was about to say, if anybody wants to give us a follow, we're here every single day streaming this lovely, lovely game. Forever a slave to the, uh, the blood point economy. That is just... Christ. Ever so grindy. <laughs> but huge thanks for the follow. I hope you enjoy the, the emotes. And I hope you enjoy the stream. And once again, if anybody else wants to speak a killer, just drop it in chat, my friends. And hello, Colin. How are you, my friend? <clears throat> hope you're doing good. And we are... Uh, yeah, you asked what's up. Uh, last match, pain was up because we got our asses kicked. But to be fair, we, uh, we were playing who I personally consider to be the worst killer in the entire game. Who is this guy? You know, cool looking fella, right? It looks pretty, you know, fucking cool song in the back. But tomorrow, funny enough, after I don't know how many years, tomorrow he gets a buff. That's something to be, you know, that's something we, uh, we can look forward to, right? But for the time being, he is, uh, dog shit. <laughs> Let's go ahead and play a different killer that's fun. How about I play some Huntress? We have some fucking fun with Huntress. Let's do more of that. Then if anybody else wants to see a killer, just drop in the chat as always, and we can do that next match. Maybe having to run in a semi-straight line for two to three seconds before E. Uh, Billy, yes. I, like, I feel like anything would be better than that hard, right? No. Than the current iteration of it. Because I feel like the current iteration of it, could it be any worse? Where it's like, you can press E and you get iframes, and it doesn't matter where you do it, you just become literally invincible. It's got, like, instant activation, where, like, the second that you press it, you use it. Uh, you can use it for distance, you can use it, you know, in, in the face of the killer. It, there's, like, zero downsides. You just, you know, I, I don't know how the fuck they could make that hard, like, any more overpowered, given the current mechanics of the game. If it was, you know, because cause wasn't it, like, old, old school DBD? You would regain your, uh, thing. You would regain your exhaustion while you were running. But, you know, given the current mechanics of the game, I genuinely do not know how the fuck I, they could possibly make that hard any more, any more powerful. So any sort of nerf would be great. So, like, having to run in a straight line for, like, two seconds or somewhat of a straight line and not being able to do it, like, while you're standing, sure. Would it still would it be enough to make it a balance perk? Honestly, I have no idea. But it would already be, you know, uh, an upgrade in terms of making it more fair than what it is right now, you know? And I guess, you know, the what I what I don't like are the the perks that make survivors be able to like not not survivors, but like killers as well. Like no it's kinda like that. 
where there's no way of countering it is like issue number one and like issue number two i don't like any perk that makes allows survivors to like once again i say survivors because i'm thinking of that hard but like it allows anybody to like get away with a fuck up right and no way is sort of like that where it also really unfair because if you put yourself in a position where uh you know you're, you're likely to lose the game now it's like oh shit now all of a sudden you only have to hit survivors once and that is just absolutely massive and i don't dig that so much just doesn't feel very fair, you know? And you have some like Devour Hope. That also kind of works the same, right? But you have to get three hooks and the Devour, you know, on its own. Uh, kind of. That was an awful throw. Well, that was a sad, sad start. But hey, it'd be like that. And, like Devour, you have to get three hooks. And the game is, you know. Make sure to be like, yeah, you can't, uh, you can't, you can't like camp those three hooks. You know what I'm saying so. You're like already decentivizes face camping, I suppose. Mm. Nice. And you know, and throughout all that time, until you get those uh, three hooks and unhooks, the survivors can find your totems and cleanse it, right? So it's sort of the same idea with Devour, but just done in a way that isn't total fucking bullshit. Oh, that was... I thought she was going to dodge that, and now I'm out of hatches. That was a very bad play by me, actually. Uh. Oh, but you kind of messed up as well, thankfully. So yeah, you get me. Devour just does it in a way that's like, you know, fair, and there's a counter for... Uh, a, a way to counter it. Meanwhile... Dun, 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 dun. Noed is just like the only way you're ever gonna counter is by wasting time cleansing five bones in the off chance that the killer has Noed, which maybe they even don't. So, are you making an ad for deodorants as you go around throwing axe to everyone? Yes, my friend. I, I was hoping that nobody would uh, catch on to my sellout ways, but I am trying my best to sell out to uh, Axe, <laughs> the company. And I have been, uh, you know, every time I play Huntress, I, I'm hoping the Axe is going to catch on and offer me a sponsorship, but it hasn't happened just yet. But hey, never say die, right? Maybe that'll change soon. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Shit. It's really hoping for a grab. If you have 10, 15 seconds of that harder, if you get injured, then the perk deactivates. You get it from health and injured again. Yeah, like any, honestly, anything. Would be like an upgrade. Well, I guess Tinker was working out for me there. <laughs> that was a bit confusing. But like, you know, I think like one thing we could do right off the bat to fix a big part of the issue would be to just like get rid of the iframes. Would that be enough? Eh, I don't think so. I think we'd still need like further nerfs. But I don't know, man. I feel like Dead Hard, honest to God, needs like an entire rework. And I know that's going to like piss a lot of people off. But I feel like it's not a perk that should work anywhere near the way that it does. Like, I just don't think that should be, like, an exhaustion perk. They can just press a button and activate that has, like, no downside. Especially when you compare it to, you know, all the other ones that all have, uh, like, downsides. Because, like, you... Oh, shit, you bring Lithe. Why did I swing there? What's wrong with me? <laughs> you bring Lithe, right? It's like, oh, shit, maybe you, uh... You go to a map with very little windows. You bring, uh, Balanced Landing. Maybe you go to a map with, uh... Speaking of balanced landing, was that it? Maybe you go to a map that has uh, no, like, tall spots. Maybe you, uh... You know, you try to force a window or some shit like that, and you end up kind of zoning yourself out. You know, like, then you have a sprint burst effect that, like, oh, you can't just, like, run around all the time. You get what I mean? Like, every single one of these perks, like, have downsides to them, right? And have like layers in, in in which case that that you need to I guess maybe overcome not so much. I guess overcome would be like the one exception, but even then, overcome is, you know, overcome is like not that much of an issue I wouldn't say. And then you have that hard was just like press per, per, press button, and I just don't think it should be in the game. While, uh, you know, kind of no wed by the same thing. It shouldn't be anything that, like, you know, gives you that much of an advantage for literally zero work. 
Those devourers, you gotta, you know, you gotta protect the totem to an extent. Make sure you get those, uh... Oh my goodness. Dun 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 Boink. So I can chuck it. <laughs> now where that girl is, at least, the, the Claudette. Stop throwing my dude. Yeah, I am I am throwing. That is a multi-layer joke, that's for sure. Uh, oh well. Oh well. Did not realize you were about to do that. Which is now our maiden. Yeah, I uh I needed to open the spot for uh what do you call it? Needed to open the spot for uh Well done. For barbecue. Because as I have pointed out, the eternal Never-ending grind for blood points is so real. Uh, you don't make it anywhere though, because it's not that hard for you. It's my favorite thing about hunters, honestly. Did this match real hard? Yeah, I, I played this pretty poorly, not gonna lie. Which I guess I'm not too much in, you know. I'm not in the, uh, like, try-hard mode, because, like, I, I haven't seen... I, I feel like I, I go in try-hard mode when either it's like a super close exciting match like oh shit now i actually kind of want to win this or if the survivors are like stacked with you know like map offerings and like fucking 16 dead hearts etc etc so on and so forth and i'm like damn now, now i want to win out of spite you know what i'm saying but you know haven't lost just yet no you don't Overcome doesn't work against instant downs. That is true, yeah. Because I guess, like, you know, you could say, oh, Dead Heart doesn't work against instant downs, but it kind of does where you can stay injured after your first hook. But I guess. Uh, oh, never mind. I guess Overcome really doesn't work against instant downs. You are so dead, dude. You are so dead, you greedy little goblin. How the fucking shit in the fucking fuck, dude? This game is fucking joking. Did you guys see that? That was nowhere near. That was like 16 miles away from the nearest locker. That is... I have been robbed. That is not okay, DVD. Aw, oh, that was my fuck up, actually. Damn it. I really thought she was gonna vault it there. But I think you flicked a second too early? I don't think so, honestly. Because I, I don't think I flicked at all, is the thing. I think I just, like, did it in a straight-ass fucking line. <clears throat> that was, like, I think, uh, um, unless I'm insane, I think I saw it, you know, like, uh, hit the locker because, you know, the hitboxes are way are always bigger, right? But even then, it fell, like, way... Oh, you were dead on hook. I don't remember catching this mag at all. Holy shit. Okay, that's good. That helps. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. I don't know. But I felt like it was a pretty, like, clear shot that I had there, and, like, I... It just fucking, like, hit the locker or something. And maybe I'm wrong, though. Hey, Shiva, welcome! How are you, my friend? Hope you had a good day. How was your, uh, Tuesday? Are, are, is everybody excited for, uh, Kiss Wednesday tomorrow? I hope you fellas are. Is this, uh, is progress on this gen and new development, or what? It sure is. Bonk. But yeah, you, like, you, you get what I mean, right, when it comes to that hard. I just think it's, like, really unfair. Nothing like that should be in the game. Like, so much payoff for, like, no work at all. I just press a button and win. And, like, no wed by the... I kind of feel the same by the same uh, sort of logic. Where it's, like, you get an insta-down for doing literally zero work. Like, be able to insta-down everybody. And you have stuff, stuff like Rancor, right? It's like, well, sure, but then Rancor's only, I guess, one person. And then you have stuff like, oh hey, stuff like uh, Devourer was like, well with Devourer you have to actively, you know, hook three people and then all those three people have to be unhooked and then your totem can get destroyed and all in the meantime. So it's possible that you get absolutely zero value from Devourer. Hey Spaceman, welcome. How are you doing my friend? Welcome on in. So I feel like... If I had to be like, yeah, the most bullshit perks in the game, I feel like I would say dead hard for Survivor. Uh, 
and uh, like no ed for killer. And I just, it's just, this is not fair. Like I don't, you know, I don't see the, I don't, I don't, I don't think that either of those perks should be in the game at all. So I feel like they should, it's not even like nerfed. I feel like they should just be reworked entirely. Just like axe the perks, dude. It's like remove them, get rid of them, burn them to the ground. I guess maybe a circle of healing was worse than dead hard. But now that it's been nerfed a tad. Still really powerful, but I don't feel like it's as bullshit as dead hard is. So that was thankfully one that came and went by. When spirit match? Uh, whenever you ask me to play spirit, my friend. I can take that as a request to play spirit, sadly for Uncle Scrubins. But... I'm good, thanks for asking. How are you, my friend? I'm doing good, thank you. I'm happy to hear you are well as well, my friend. Had a solid day. Matches so far have been... Pretty 50-50, but... It's a video game, right? So it's all about having fun. And maybe I'm lying to myself a little bit, but I'll say I'm having, I've am i had fun on all those matches. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Managed to pull it back in? Yeah. Fortunately. It was... I don't... I honest to God do not remember uh, going for the mag. And I threw her on the hook and she was... Uh, I had already hooked her twice, apparently. Even though I really don't remember that, but... Hey. I'll take it. Don't know about that one, boss. <laughs> nice try, though. And you play Spirit? Yes. We can do it. And hopefully, I don't know. I feel like I've been doing good at Spirit lately, even if I don't enjoy it so much. So maybe we can have some uh, decent matches. Make it that hard. Two different perks. One that has a dash, which is one of its own, and one of the invisibility frames a window. Optional perk to, to ex brr, optional, optional perk to exist. Yeah, I think, like I mentioned, just like removing the iframes would already go a really long way. But even then, I still think that like that hard would be a bit of a broken perk even then, because you can still use it to like make it to the, for you know, uh, like making making it for distance, that harding early, so on and uh, and so forth. Which, I just, once again, I just don't feel like it should be a thing in the game. I feel like if you make a mistake, you should, like, have to pay the price, right? And a perk that, like, essentially, like, nullifies that is just, like, eh, don't like that. And, you know, like, BT is only, only really, it doesn't really nullify a mistake because it only works for, like, 12 seconds, right? Uh, DS, same thing. Well, I guess DS, uh, if, if you touch anything, you have to be useless for 60 seconds in order for it to nullify a mistake, so on and so forth. While uh, Dead Heart is like just any point in the game, just be injured, press a button, you're gaming. <clears throat> Try fun builds if you're not having fun. That's the thing, right? Because like I feel like uh, the the one the, like the the matches in which I'm not having fun were the ones where everything was like stacked against us due to like ma mainly bad luck and a good survivor as well. To be fair. Cause like it was that that first match as uh, the bird lady, because they all they brought two flashes and they all managed to you know they brought two flashes. The other two managed to plunder flashes. They were really good. They were together. So they were coordinated. Four dead hards, one circle of healing, taking hits for each other, falling back. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, none of them would ever go down against the wall, so it was basically impossible for me to like pick anybody up because literally like all fucking every single one of them would be a uh, uh, like you know just around me trying to like do the the flashies literally all three of them and then I would go and like hit one and then somebody else would come and pick the other person off the ground if I went back then the other person would get away and then heal themselves with a circle of healing if I then chase the second person the the the, the fourth one I guess would uh, run back and then pick themselves up so it was basically a match where I just could not win I, I had no power during chase if they ever fucked up, which they very rarely did because they were really fucking good. That hard it is, you know what I'm saying? They could, even after that, they could take hits for each other and then whoever I was not chasing could just fall back and heal themselves a circle of healing. You get it. So, in though, you know, if I try fun builds, I just get my ass kicked even more. And then the other match was that uh, Larry's, which wasn't anywhere near as bad, to be fair. That one was, uh, it was just a lot of pallets. Just bad RNG with the, the pallets. But that one was like nowhere near as bad. It was an okay match. And you know, it is it is uh 
It is a Legion, right? So yeah, I kind of go in expecting to do pretty bad. About when having that hard, your exhaustion only goes away while healthy. That could be a thing, but even then, I don't know. I guess, like, depending on the team, especially with, like, Circle of Healing and stuff, maybe it wouldn't make it so much, make it wouldn't make, like, so much of a difference, but who knows? Who knows? Make that hard to dash and make it a cooldown, not exhaustion, but exhausts you too. Oh, so like exhaustion plus a cooldown? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like once again, I think any any change possible would probably be positive because I do not know how the fuck they would ever be able to make that hard any more uh, powerful unless they were to like change the way the exhaustion works or whatever. Oh, hi. <laughs> You're looking in the box. I see. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, what well one? Uh, you gonna fall down the hole or what? Nah. Speaking of lots of pallets, we are very sadly. That hit me from so far away. Holy shit. We are sadly at Pallet Factory. Oh yeah, indeed, Billy. Ooh, smart. Dude, you see this? It's like every room has a pallet. But like, what am I complaining about? That's just this map. That is just quite literally this map. She is uh, dropping them pretty willy-nilly. So I guess that is beneficial to an extent. Oh shit, please don't have that hard. Of course you do! But thankfully, you were not able to make it work. Uh, try to avoid the Nia as well, remember that. Mm. I should find her in a zone, you make a tiny bit of distance. If it's a tiny bit of distance, then yeah, I don't mind it. Like, if you make dead hard be like, you know, a slight dash forward where if you're running a straight line, you can get it, I think that's totally good, yeah. But the current dash, like, even if you don't have iframes, it would still, like, so... Because, like, half the times somebody's dead hard, it's like that, where they use it for distance, you know? And she kind of fucked up her dead hard there, but if she hadn't done so... You know, even though she got greedy and she, like, went all the way to that pallet that was, like, way out ahead of her, she would still have a... Oh, shit, this is the knee, actually. Ah, fuck my life, dude. I will fucking tunnel relentlessly like you've never seen. I do not give a fuck. It's this fucking map. You guys already seem really good. Kill that I do not enjoy playing. I will. I I don't care. Sue me, dude. Sue me. Leave a minus rep on my profile. Say my mom's fat in the end game. I don't care. <laughs> I can't even stop that. I mean, I could to be fair, but I just, I care more about my stacks. Wow, I was really expecting to hit that hard there. I was trying to bait it. Well done. So I will literally just fucking tunnel like a motherfucker. Uh, dead heart still, let's not forget it. <laughs> you see what I mean? That right there. <sighs> oh my god. Let's see a problem with using for instance, it would be a strong perk, but there's nothing bad about perks. I disagree, Shovel. I think once again, I it's just like there's no downside to it. Like why would you not bring Dead Heart, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if you can, why bring, like, uh, what is it called? Why bring Sprint Burst or whatever that, you know, has, like, so many, like, downsides to it. And it's so, like, hard to use and all this shit. If you can just bring, uh, you're not my obsession, so I can actually get a stonk out of you. If you can just bring that hard and then just, like, press a button and have the distance. Sure, it's not the same distance. But it's, like, enough to make it, like, unbelievably fucking good, right? I just think it, you have to have some sort of downside in order to bring it like along the lines of a uh, a normal like exhaustion perk, the other ones that we have. Huh. Personally. The hardest team is that you withstand an extra hit. I think they should remove the dash completely and rework it or just give deep and wound if you tank a hit with that hard. Yeah, that's the thing, right? So like if you go against survivors that are good with that hard, then like every single chase takes like three hits to down them. 
and it's just like fucking obnoxious as hell. And once again, it's just the thing with a. Uh, oh, that was a multiple. Well done. Uh, da, 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 da. Bonk. Just a thing with a. Uh, you know, it's like zero skill. You press a button, and it undoes a mistake. And I really, really, really hate that. And I guess by kind of like no wet is the same where you can, you know, you can be like as dog shit as you want throughout the entire match. You bring no wet, and then, oh, now you're just insta down everybody. Even though you, you did literally nothing to like earn that. No wet just gives it to you. Dead hard, same thing. You did literally nothing to earn that, uh. That like extra hit, right? And you, the game just gives it to you. If it's like Medal of Man, right? Like, yeah, you get an extra hit then, but shit, you have to like build hella stacks, right? Fuck. And you have to like play a, a very specific way. Uh, I would like to point out that I was on the other side of that pallet, and then it it just pushed me over to this side, and it was very confusing. And I just I just don't like it. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's helpful for the game, etc., etc., etc. You know, like that. You know, like I I mind game there, right? Like this was not the iframes. This was just distance. I mind gamed her. I should get a hit. I think. You know. Because, like, she's got third person, and I was still was able to pull off a mind game there because she made a mistake. But then she presses E, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> Quite literally doesn't matter. She makes it a pallet, no problem. But then I have to, you know, I have to effectively get a, a third hit in. And survivors that, you know, when, when this is, like, every single fucking survivor... This is, you know... Oh, shit. Shaved her second, six seconds there because she made another mistake, Shavol. That's the thing. Be that that was her making three or a mistake, right? Then me hitting her, and then her making another one. Like that's why. The reason, if she, if that was like a, a better survivor, she would not have made another mistake for a really long time, right? And then, you, it's like way more of an issue if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, the that heart is worse than Noed IMO. I think they're about as bad, honestly. I feel like Dead Hard is worse than Noed because I guess you see it a lot more often. But in terms of, you know, if you're just going to do like one-to-one, -one, like Dead Hard and Noed, I think they're about as, as bad as each other. To be honest. You have it as well. Oh, you actually get enough distance on your own. Bonk. Bonk. Aha! Eight stonks, I am the winner. <laughs> oh. Power to mind game? Uh, yeah, that, that boat has sailed, I'm afraid. <laughs> no wet is worse, at least the hard card timing. Yeah, I, I, I see both your points, but I think they're both as bad, you know? I think it's like, once again, it's a, a, a thing that gives you a ton of reward for literally zero work. And that is like, you don't have to earn, you don't have to do anything with, you know? And then you see this shit, like, four dead hearts. Like, I feel like if fucking... Ugh. Christ, man. Like, just the, just the sheer amount of them maybe has something to do with, like, the... The, uh... <laughs> they're Swedish. Maybe they're, uh... The sheer amount of dead hearts, right, is a bit of an issue, if you know what I'm talking about. Or, like, part of it, you know what I'm saying? Why they teabag? I don't know. Oh, well, to be fair, teabag is not necessarily uh, toxic, right? They could just be being like a little cheeky and some of that. If they like teabag on uh, on the other side of every palace, sure, I guess they're being like a bit, bit of dickheads. But just teabagging at the end there, it's uh, I don't think it's necessarily such a big deal. You don't really know that they're trying to be toxic, right? They could be just be be a little cheeky. Maybe they're saying goodbye to me. But would anybody like to pick a perk, my friends? No is a is a good place. But that hard is too powerful. You think no head is good, Melon? Nah, dude. I disagree with that strongly. I think no head is bullshit. Like, once again, uh, the only way to counter it is go around doing five bones. If you're against a good killer, you do not have time for that. You do it in the chance that the killer has no head. If he doesn't even do it, then you just waste a bunch of time for no reason. It, you know, gets you uh, one shot that you don't deserve, you don't earn. You have to do nothing to get at. I don't think no head is cool at all, right? Because, like I said, all the others. It's under some very specific condition, right? Like Starstruck, uh, Make Your Choice, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Devour. Like, the survivors can counter all of those and you have to make them happen as a killer somehow, right? You have to force that situation to take place. No way is just like, just wait, and then at the end game, you can just one-shot everybody. You know what I'm saying? 
where it can be cleansed like five seconds is only active in the complete end game. But that's the thing, right? You have to get lucky. You have to just like stumble upon nowhere. Like how often do you just run into nowhere within like five seconds of it popping? I feel like way more often you end up just like looking for nowhere for like 20 minutes and you just never fucking find the fucking thing. And sure, if you if you uh, bring like a map or uh, you know small game or something, then you can your life can become like a little bit easier. But even then, maybe the killer snowballs before, and you have like three people on the hook, and now you can't even uh, even if you cleanse the bones, you can't even uh, get the, those rescues off. <sighs> What do you think about my suggestion for Dead Hard? Uh, which one was that, Luxor? There was a lot of them. Was it the... So they give me three tokens. Every time you use Dead Hard, you spend one token. When the tokens are spent, you can use it anymore. Combined with being an exhaustion perk. I still think it would be really overpowered even then, to be honest. Because, I mean, like, how often... Like, j just see us today for an example. Like, the average match has, what, like 3.5 Dead Hards or whatever? That's like 12 Dead Hards you're going to have to deal with in a single game, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like... Uh, you don't usually have every single uh, sir, GeForce game drivers ready. Oh my god. I feel like it's not... Uh, like, even if every single survivor has three to tokens, that's still, like, really powerful. Because, like, how often do you see a survivor using a dead hard more than, like, three times, you know what I'm saying? It's usually you chase one guy, he dead hards, and then you down him, and then another guy, and then dead hard, and then down, and then dead hard. Like, even then, it would still be, like, one dead hard per chase that they're allowed to have, you know what I mean? And unless you have to, like, abandon chase and then go back to them, that would be, like, no difference. I really feel like it needs a change to, like, its core. You need to, like, just completely rework the way the perk works. I... Maybe my favorite one would be if it was no iframes, right? A dash to, like, get away from the killer, but kind of like a tiny dash. So, like, you can still use it for distance, right? but not to give you such a huge distance where it's gonna give you all these, uh, you know, extra loops or, or extra goes around loops and shit. And, you know. Ah, but then again, maybe it would be too shit. I don't even know. I don't even know, honestly. I just think, like, it's it's a troublesome perk, let's call it. Uh, Noed is worse than that, and I mostly only play killer here. The reason why people use a Noed is because I've seen a small thing to do. Thing to do. Yes, Jervall. I think a lot, I think uh, if Noed wasn't so frowned upon, I do agree with that actually. I think a lot more people would use Noed if it wasn't so frowned upon. Dead Hard, for some reason, even though, like, I, I, d people don't lose their minds as much about Dead Hard in terms of, like, oh, that is such a no skill thing to do. I guess maybe, I don't know, maybe because, like, Dead Hard takes more input or. I don't know, but, like, essentially they're the same thing, right? Like, as uh, Noed, you're, shor you're shortening the chases by one uh down that hard is extending the chases by one by uh one hit sorry you're you're shorting the chases by one hit as a killer and you're extending the chases by one hit as a uh, as a survivor so i feel like they're kind of you know in their effect they're sort of very similar but i do think that a lot more people would be using no wet if it wasn't so seen as like a no skill small pp perk I never went even with no head. So I can see as powerful. I mean, I feel like that's not, you know, like if you personally don't go with it, you can still see like matches in which the killer has it, right? And then you get like run over because of that. The heart saves you eight seconds or an extra loop. I don't think that's the case though, Cheval. I don't feel like it just saves you eight seconds. That's like one time where you were going to get a hit, right? And then that hit doesn't happen. And then if that survivor is good, like how many times does that happen where you're a, you're chasing a really good survivor? You're like, oh, thank God, dude, they fucked up here. That that was like a 30 second chase that, you know, like I, or I, you know, I, I hit them. It was like another 30 seconds of chasing. And then they finally made a mistake and then they dead hard and then they're back like running around again. And then now there's another like 30 seconds of chase, 45 seconds of chase, 50, a minute. Like, it, I don't really feel like it's always, oh, Dead Hard's just going to give you 8 seconds. I don't think that's the case at all. I think sometimes Dead Hard gives you 0 seconds. Because they just Dead Hard into a wall and it doesn't even do anything, right? Sometimes, but fucking, when you go against good survivors that have it, and it's, you know, 4 good survivors and they all have it, then you have to get 3 hits. And if every hit on average is like 30 seconds, then, you know, fucking uh, Dead Hard or whatever is, is making it so that it's giving you like 30 seconds every single chase or something crazy like that. 
Let me play Nowhere on Trapper because Trapper is a late gate killer and honestly pretty bad. Yes, Trapper is pretty trash, not gonna lie. <laughs> God of Noah is just insanely bullshit. You can't hunt a dull totem just in case of Kill and Perk. Yes, Billy. I 100% agree. A lot of people say, oh, just cleanse bones. But like, nah, man. Like if you, you are absolutely out of your mind. If you go against a good killer and you think you have time to go around like hunting five dual totems and cleansing those five dual totems just in case the killer has Noah, which maybe even they don't in, in, in that situation, you just wasted all the time. That's not a counter, dude. That's like, that is you just like shooting yourself in the foot in hopes that like some of the, the shrapnel that's bouncing off the fucking ground is going to hit the killer in the shins and, and hurt his endgame a little bit. You know what I mean? And like, if you have time for that because the killer is like dog shit and you have t t the time to do that, then like probably no ads maybe like not even that big of an issue and you can probably like work around it once it does proc. So I don't think that counter is really like a counter at all personally. What did you think about my session for Deadheart? Uh, I think I said it, right, Luxor? About two tokens then, because then a survivor can only use it for two out of three hook chases. I don't use either of those on any of my killers of all. On how many killers do you have Tinker and Pop? Uh, I have Tinker and Pop on every single killer of all, but I do not think Tinker and Pop is anywhere near. Like, if you put those two perks combined, and they are they take the place of like one spot or like one single killer, I do not think they're anywhere near a spot for as Deadheart is. If that's what you're going with. <laughs> Two tokens then? Uh, I don't know, man. Once again, it would be better. But then again, mm, who knows? Two dead hearts per survivor is still, like, really powerful. What if it was a thing where, like, I think people would, like, lose their minds, right? If it's, like, an Overwatch type of system where you can only have, like, one, uh... You can only have, like, one exhaustion perk per survivor or something like that, that'd be kind of cool. Then you need to have, like, uh, you know, one... Only one, uh, one dead hard, one lie, the one sprint burst or whatever, or just like one dead hard and no others. That'd be kind of cool, but you know. I think prac. Yeah, I would agree with Shavolda. Like. You can probably practice and, you know, get better that way. And Noed is going to probably give you a kill that's, uh like like you said, not, like, deserved or whatever. But if you really want to improve, I think you should not want to rely on, on perks such as, uh, you know, on as Noed. But it is it is a really fucking powerful perk, so if you want to run that, run that. But if you want to improve, that's a different thing, right? The distance has now light there's some silver we give you more distance honestly but that's the thing billy like lie you use when there's a window if there's no window you don't use it if there is a window but you can't make it to it you take a hit anyways you know what i'm saying like there's a condition for you to get used out of life there's a condition for you to get used out of balanced landing and you can't just like force that to happen bread hard you press a button and there you go that's it that's like my issue with it Cause like, how often do you, you know, it's like you go to, you try to use life. It's like, shit, I just can't make it to a window. So just, I have to get hit. And then my, you know, I already have the speed boost. So life doesn't even like do much for me. Or like you try to, to force something to happen. It's like, fuck, I probably should just like, you know, try to make it to that pallet instead of uh, going here and then using life and then tanking a hit anyways, because the killer was closer than I thought. Like that hard is like, press a button. doesn't matter the conditions and you're fine. Dun, 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 dun. Put no way out in. Oh, you're talking to Lemon. Yeah, I mean, if you put no way, like, uh, if you have an end game build with fucking, uh, what's it called? No way, it's fucking crazy, right? No way out. Uh, what else? What are other like end game perks? Could I have like remember me or something like that if you want. That can be highly spicy for sure. Give me a hag game. Feel like I've been a while since I saw you play hag. My friend, that will be my pleasure. But I can assure you it will not be a good hag game. <laughs> because chances are I will get my ass kicked. But that being said, I'll try my best. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> this, is good to show you, this goes to show you how uh, often I use hag. 19 fucking cakes. <laughs> <laughs> 
I do not think Tinker and Pop are not as strong. What I mean is that people use the strongest thing available, but doesn't mean it's broken just because it's common, although their heart as it is is broken. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I feel like Tinker is fine. I think Pop is fine. You know, I don't think those perks are unfair. I use it on every single killer, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. Because, you know, and that is because of, like, the current state of the meta, because, you know, the shit that the survivors run... It really feels like I have to use something like that, you know, at in the bare minimum, something like that in order to be able to, like, keep up. And you get, like, the the, the match in which you're just, like, fucking destroy the survivors, right? But most of the time, it's like, if you don't bring at, at least that, good fucking luck keeping up with the, the, the shit that the survivors bring, right? And I guess it is a vicious cycle, right? Where maybe the survivors bring that shit because they're dealing with killers that deal with or bring this shit, right? And so on and so forth. But then again, like, I guess that is more on behavior for, you know, for going, oh, the one side has really overpowered shit, so let's just give overpowered shit to the other side, and it, you, you don't get anywhere at that point. That's not how you should balance it, right? If you have something that's, like, powerful, you should, like, uh, nerf it. But I, in my opinion, I think Dead Heart is miles and miles and miles ahead of, uh, of, like, anything that, uh, well, not anything that killer, but, uh, pretty, m most perks that killer have. No Wed would maybe be the, the, fir the only exception that comes to mind. I think Tinker and Pop are, like, totally fine. And you have, like, really, really powerful uh, survivor perks that I think are totally fine. Like, Borrow Time, super powerful, totally fine. Uh, spine Chill, super powerful, totally fine. Unbreakable, super powerful, fine. Uh, like, Deliverance is super powerful, that's fine, you know? Uh, tons and tons and tons of survivor perks that are, like, really powerful and super meta, I'm 100% okay with. Because I don't mind things being, like, really strong. As long as you're not unfair, that's the thing that gets me. And I feel like Dead Heart is unfair. That's the problem I have with it. Same thing with Noed. Noed is fucking unfair. Like, you're getting a lot of reward for zero work. Is, I guess, at the end of the day, my issue. <clears throat> if one survivor is an exhaustion perk, all survivors get exhausted. Just fuck the entire team up. I like that, Luxor. <laughs> That'd be, like, absolute chaos. I, I like that approach. <laughs> Is above the exhaustion counter kill, like, Brace, Blood, Echo, and Fearmonger? That, that would be... Yes, that would be cool, Billy, but that is a behavior thing to do, you know what I'm saying? Where it's kind of like, a, it's a band-aid fix. It's the same thing with like, oh, tunneling is a problem, just add a perk. Instead of like fixing the core issue of tunneling, just like add a perk like DS. So I like that idea, but it probably wouldn't end up being so good. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to do this chapel. I hope you guys are ready to watch me get my escort because I am trash as hag. I am the big trash, not gonna lie. Uh, ta, 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 ta. When nerfing, I'm basically useless. Uh, uh. Isn't that gonna be healed for the rest of the game? Yeah, that would be, you know, that, that, I think that would be like too overkill, right? Because at that point, you're kind of making the perf worthless. It's like you use that hard once and then you just have no miter. They'll be. Hey! Stop that. Don't like that. <laughs> Puppet Digger are completely fine, although there are some killers that just corrupt and chase detection perk, and that's quite some success. Mostly actually Trapper Huntress. Yeah, I feel like. Uh, depending. Oh my god, that was quick. Ah, uh, I lost track of this girl, not gonna lie. I looked at Chad, and that was maybe a bit of a tactical error. Uh, do I have Corrupt and Hag? That's something I should have brought. If I'm even able to do so. Uh, you made a mistake in your pathing. Why would you not take that window? This girl's crazy. You are fucking bananas, bro. Hacks on the killer shack? Yeah, sadly. There's a, a fair number of hexes, it would seem. The, the shack is going to be pretty easy to find, right? And they've already found that one. So this is unfortunate. What? They're not just swing right at her. She's so bright and blue and shit. How wacky. Mm. Might as well remove both Noed and Deadheart. I, honest to God, if I could press a button to have both of them removed, I do not give a fuck about the consequences. I do not give a fuck about how many people are going to be upset. I pr I'll press this button. I'll smash that shit, dude. I'll fucking... I'll give, I'll give the button the people's elbow, you know what I'm saying? I'll fucking Hulk Hogan... WWE fucking wrestling move, that bitch. I will press it harder than I've ever fucking pressed anything in my whole entire life. <laughs> Easily. Uh, there goes two totems. 
Ah, that's my devour. Fuck. Although, you know what? I'll camp this girl out because this match is not seeming like it's gonna go my way so much. So sorry, but... You have given me the opportunity to do this and I think it would be quite silly for me not to. Wasted that pallet? Yeah, that was not the, the most brilliant play I've ever seen, but hey. We all fuck up, right? Especially me playing, uh, playing hag. Idea for survivor perk, although it might sound broken, you hate it whenever you're healthy and another survivor it is. You take the hit, become a- oh. Uh. <laughs> take the hit, become a leaves and broken for a bit. You give out killer instinct, killer sees your aura. Hang on. Whenever you're healthy and our survivor is hit, you take the hit, become a believes and broken. Uh, is it a type of thing where, like, if you're close to them, I guess, then, like, you'll take the hit instead of them? Because I don't necessarily think they'll be broken. I think that could be quite cool. Actually, you know. But it would have to be a thing where, like, you have to be close enough to them, you know what I mean? Uh... Like that, like that sort of that hard, doesn't really do much, right? But like if he like ran up here, took the super tight and then dead hard over there, bam, he now makes it the window. It's like these are the sorts of dead hards that, you know, don't don't really do so much for them. But hey, that is a uh, beneficial for me, so wunderbar. Oh. Why are you bro? What's happening here with you? You're tripping, son. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. If you're wherever, if not, it would be a give the killer a free down perk. Uh, if, if it's wherever you are, I do think that is super broken. Because then it's like, you know, you, then it really is a literally a three. You have to hit somebody three times to down them, four times if they have that hard, you know what I mean? Like, imagine, like, you, you go, you hit, like, oh shit. I have to down this person if I want to stand a chance at winning the game, right? And then you go, you hit them. Uh, some survivor that you don't know where the fuck they're at, ju they take the hit instead. And it's like, okay. And then you go and you hit them again. They get a speed boost. You have to go and hold W and catch up with them. You go and hit them after they make a mistake. They dead hard. Then you go catch up with them again, have another opportunity at, uh, at fucking finally catching up with them. And then you hit them and then you down them. You know what I mean? That'd be like super busted, yeah. If it's wherever you are, I, I don't think I could get behind that. Uh, I'm one ten, shit. But if it's a thing where like you know you you maybe try it's like a I don't know. But then if it's an automatic body block, then is it any good? I don't know. It'd be like a we're worth uh worthy of a perk slot, because if it's a thing where you're kind of forcing a hit and then the killer has to, you know. Drink. And you're basically like giving incentive for the killer to chase you instead of the person you are or who's uh you know uh who were they were originally going after, then I think that has potential, yeah. Hag, Hag is a camp killer by her core, yeah. Honestly she is one of those, right? It's like fucking her ability lends itself really, really well for uh, camping, for sure. If it is wherever you are, say get instant dying state if you have that perk, your allies can then heal you and the killer doesn't uh, know where you're at, but you can keep repairing stuff. I'd say that's better, yeah. Uh, you were in the thing a second ago. Uh, do you guys enjoy this uh, hack gameplay in which I, you know... <laughs> I don't do sh- I can't, can't do shit. Oh. Not using my traps ever. Can switch targets have a max range, but a decent one like barbecue range. I don't know, honestly. I nah. Like if 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 you're right next to the person, I would totally agree with you that it sounds really fucking cool, and I like that idea, like for sure. But if it's like, even like a barbecue range is what like 32 meters. Like if I go and hit somebody, you know, and somebody's like, oh shit, they're like way the fuck over there, and now I have killer instinct on them. Like, what good does that does me, you know? That's still like, oh, I still have to hit this person like twice more now. And four more times, or three more times if they have a dead hard. But I do like the idea of a perk that would, uh, you know, if you're if you're like super close to them. Kind of like just, you know, giving incentive to uh, making the killer switch targets, right? And kind of forcing that on the killer and seeing how they uh, react to it. 
as it were. For size of dead hard fucking change, you have dead hard, dead hard is still dead hard, you have a 20% debuff to doing gins. <laughs> uh, <all laughs> Uh, like, fuck, I'll take it. Like, I don't know, man. Because, <laughs> like, I don't even know if you're serious or if you're memeing. But, like, I, it would make Dead Heart more fair. But, like, then it's still kind of... Now now it's just sort of... Maybe too much of a... I don't know. It's not It's not issuing... Or it's, it's not dealing with the issue of Dead Heart at its core, maybe. You know what I'm saying? And it's like... It would make it more fair, right? But... Ah! Shit. That was nowhere near close enough. But like... I don't know. I feel like, you know, ch changing the things that make Dead Hard a problem, I think is still like the way to go, right? I think that should still be like the priority. As opposed to being like, Dead Hard is still gonna be bullshit, but now it's gonna have this like different, like other downside. I think maybe, uh changing the thing that makes it bullshit is maybe a better idea oh shit that's a lot of progress there you hold up oh. waste my time in chases you waste time in chens if you want you have that x percent debuff for using dead heart for the first time oh okay fair 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 oh my god she's right back on it hold up <laughs> <laughs> oh no. What happened, David? <laughs> what happened, bro? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, once again, it would be more fair, right? So I suppose it would be an improvement. But, like, I don't know. I guess there is, like, some downside to it. But, man, at the end of the day, if they just, like, Change the way it fucking works entirely on its own. <laughs> you can go. Come. Go. You can leave. You can leave. Go. Come. It's over here. No wanna? She's scared of me. Stream of F FPS drops for you there, Shovel. Uh. I'm not getting a warning from uh, from Streamlabs being like, "Yo, your shit got a drop." But that being said, I you know I'm not sure that it will warn me 100% of the time. So maybe, maybe, maybe. Is FPS drop insane? So much FPS drop on stream, it comes and goes a bit. The problem is that it needs to be down, side and not be free. Right now, pay your taxes for dead hard. Yeah, like that is true. Oh my god, I have fucking a way out. I forgot. Shit. <laughs> like that is true. But then again. I don't know, it, f it feels like a behavior solution, I feel like. Like, it feels like you're still not tackling, like, the core of the issue, if you know what I'm talking about, right? But it is way better than what we have right now, so I'll, I'll, I'll grant that, for sure. Uh, let me talk, go into my own stream and see Luxor. I'm sorry to hear that you're having issues, my friend. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. I guess let me, like, move around a bit. Hang on. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see. Do a bit of this action. Dude, she's gonna fucking die! Why wow, is last lasting so long? Holy crap. Yo, I'm so I didn't I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Well to be fair, if she had followed me, she'd probably be fine. But I think she fucking dies now. That ass. Uh, it's looking fairly choppy, yeah. It might not be just you, Luxor. It's like fine, and then it gets a little bit choppy. Like, I don't know how... It seems to go from like almost like 60 to 30 FPS. So I don't know what... Like exactly how bad you mean. But I'm not getting like any warning on like Streamlabs, so I wonder if it's like just like Twitch being like dog shit. Cause like usually when the stream is bad is bad. Usually when the stream is bad, it's not even uh, you know, like it will give me warnings and shit. 
I do feel bad. <laughs> I totally forgot that I had, uh, that I had no way out, but I suppose it came in very clutch for me there, huh? It's a better solution, or it's a behavior solution, but I like the concept of Dead Heart, a good concept. I always say it doesn't guarantee a good implementation. Limitation, gotta write that down for my song. That does rhyme. That does rhyme with character creation, yes sir. But I will say... I, I do like the concept of Dead Heart as well. I, I genuinely do. But... Just something about the way that they implemented it. Like I said, no fucking downsides, right? And I like, you know, because like, Spring Burst has a downside to it in its nature. Lithe, it's in its nature. Like, everything has a downside to it. Like, you know, like you need to have this thing. Spring Burst is, is the fact that you can't just like, it, it removes your ability to just like run whenever you want, right? And then, Lithe is the fact that like you need a window or a pallet. If you don't have it, you don't have your exhaustion. Uh, balance landing, you need a drop. If you don't have that, you don't have an exhaustion. Uh, overcome, like we said, is just like kind of not really. I guess, uh, I guess an instant down killer, the, you kind of lose your thing completely. And then, uh, smash hit is once again, you need to have like a pallet stun. If you don't have the pallet stun, you don't get it. That hard as you press a button. But I do like the, the concept behind it. The idea of like having. You know, being able to press a button and sort of like dodge the killer's attack, I do like that. But I think the way it is right now, it just gives you way too much for that, you know, shitty little effort of pressing a button. It's, it's all the distance you get. But, you know, and also making yourself invincible. All, all while all you have to do is press a button for it, it's, you know. Hey, Shymek. Welcome in. How are you doing? And like the dash for flash saves, that it's also very good for that, for sure. I'll play some stuff myself. I have a good rest of the stream. Thank you, Luxor. Thank you for uh, stopping by. Thank you for hanging out. Here's appreciate it. I hope you have some good matches and some fun, my friend. Uh, sorry to hear that the stream is a little bit uh, choppy. I don't really know if it's even, like, some that's on my end. Because Streamlabs seems to be like, yeah, your stream is totally cool. So it could be Twitch fucking up, maybe? So I don't even know. But either way, sorry, my friend. And I'll see you around. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a good one. And how are you doing, Shymac? How are you doing, Nova? Welcome on in, my friends. Would you like me to play some Death Slinger Nova? Is that your pick? Because we can do that. I think Dead Heart is weak. Here's my buff. Dead Heart into the killer. You stun him for three seconds. Cheval, I'll get behind that. I agree. Yes. <laughs> I think you should. You Dead Heart, right? Into the killer. You stun him for three seconds. And also, you regain a health state after uh, eight seconds. So the killer has five seconds to, to catch up to you before you regain a health state. I think that's be a little bit better. <laughs> Pretty good overall, but I caught a cold lately. I'm sorry to hear, my friend. I hope that you feel better soon. I mean, you say lately, so I don't know how good you're feeling as of right now, but I hope you're, you know, most of the way recovered already. Here's Soapy anyways. <laughs> Pasta soup command. My favorite command. Find just tired or sure. I don't really care. You got it. You got it. A, you know, a I don't really care. That sounds to me like a yes. So I'll go with that. <laughs> yes, welcome on in, Shymek. And as always, my friend, if you'd like to pick a killer for us, you know, to help out, uh, I don't know, probably won't help out with your actual cold in any way, but it'll give you some of that good old entertainment, am I right? And if you want to give me some of that uh, killer picks, I can uh, give you... The entertainment. <laughs> Christ, I have a, my brain. Listen, I haven't had water in a while, okay? I'm running to an issue where there is water downstairs and I'm too lazy to go pick it up. And now I have to go drink water from the tap or milk. I have milk as well. Does anybody like milk? I think milk is, is nice. I don't, I don't drink a lot of milk, but I feel like milk on its own is kind of like, okay. You are Nova. Don't do this to me. That money. Listen, we already played Legion today. We already played Spirit. I already got my ass kicked like on a bunch of different matches, okay? Just what, whatever you want. I'm not, listen, I'm not doing this again. You're, you're getting those 500 back and you can pick a different killer. How about that? Can, can we agree with that? No more Legion. How about, there's so many fun killers in that by Daylight. How about like, how about a sexy lady? Do you want me to play uh, Piggy with her like going to party outfit? Or do you want me to play, uh, you know, like Crow Lady or some shit? How about a nice, pretty, pretty woman? Uh, Vommy Mommy, if that's more your speed. 
You know, if you like tall women, they're half decayed and, and rotten. Maybe we can do some of that. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, dude? Everybody's ready. And the game keeps making the sound. But, like, it's not... <laughs> How many more times is it going to make the sound, I wonder? Thank you so much. For a perk, you get one stack whenever you unhook a survivor. Maximum one stack. While on hook, you can press a dead hard button to appear to random other hooks at X distance. <laughs> I kind of like that. I kind of, I, I think that idea is uh, sort of interesting. It's like a, a hook teleport. But you can only get like one, at, you can only have like one at a time. Maybe it would be a little bit troublesome with like face camping. Okay, that's good. It's good that I wasted, you know, that I, I waited all this time only for that to happen. <laughs> slurp, slurp, legion female skin. No. No. The anti-camping perk? Wouldn't that be... Hang on. Whenever you unhook it... Oh, that's for survivor. Nah, dude. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I thought it was for killer. And you were going to, like, teleport to the hook as a killer. And I was like, how's... That That would make camping worse, wouldn't it? <laughs> hey, Leo. Rated behind you today. Oh, you rated love? Yeah, that, that's appreciated, my friend. You know? It's the same household, right? If she, if she gets some... Uh, some uh, What do you call it? If she gets some, some money. Is she talking shit? Are you talking shit? She's literally talking shit, dude. I, I, I know you're, you have your talking shit face right now, dude. Yeah, I know that expression. That is the talking shit face. The face, that you, the expression that you have when you're talking shit. That's very self-explanatory. It's very self-explanatory. All right, have a good one, Leo. Thank you for stopping by, my friend. I hugely appreciate it. I'll see you around. <laughs> yes, it is. Next game, Legion. Nova, don't do this to me. What have I done to you, Nova? What have I done to you to deserve such a, a fate? Please tell me. I feel like I'm, you know, I feel like I'm a nice, chill guy, right? Like, why why, why do I deserve to, to be made to play Legion twice a day? I mean, you have to convince me. Otherwise, I'm, I'm willing to, you know, I'm willing to uh, put my foot down. You didn't let me put my balls in your jaw. You have to talk to my girlfriend about that, dude. She's going to be upset. That's cheating. I can't do that. That's what? fucked up. Let me put my balls in your jaw. Right. Can't do that, man. Fucked up. Is there any up, 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 uh... Oh, dude, I still haven't gotten around to, uh... Picking a song for the album, like, my thing. Like, the Entitled Survivor song. I need to fucking figure that out somehow. I, uh, I am yet to uh, find my inspira inspiration the way that uh, you and Chavol have found yours with Boulevard of Broken Weebs and, and character creation. Uh, that one might have been a little bit too bold, huh? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, the Dweet is the... What's his face? The Obsession. Let's keep that in mind. Let's try to build those stacks. Uh, that's pretty quick. I imagine there's got to be like two of them, right? Uh. Oh my goodness. What would that be? Nice. Uh, I don't think I stopped that, honestly. There is going to be a flashy attempt here. Yeah, I don't stop that. Where are you? I saw you with your flashy little goblin. And corn vision. Who else has the other flashy? Uh, okay. Had fun in DBD today. I played with my friends with four fangs with purple flashlights. Nice, my friend. Were you a bit of a... Bit of a cheeky blind blind squad type situation. Did you did you rent any killers with the fucking uh, what you call it? Uh man, why am I uh, Lightborn. Uh, we can test. It's fine. Not ideal, but we can still get injure her. I guess we can go back. Oh man, these guys are fucking efficient as hell. They're not wasting a second. Goddamn. Who is it that has rescued you, though? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I 
fucking mind. Oh no. Should have fucking looked down, I guess. I'm watching that stupid video at work today, trying to go insane, I guess. Which one? Which one, Shavol? Because you've you sent me like a fair few. Is it the a lie will remain a lie? Is it that one? Because I feel like that's a good option if you want to, you know, go insane. Why do I hear you there, but then your scratch marks tell me that you're over here? Interesting. There's one, it's eight seconds, gotcha. Well done. Uh, that was DS, actually. Okay, uh, that changes what the obsession is. That uh, could be interesting. That felt like it should have hit, but... I guess I missed by a small amount. Uh, smart. Oh, boy. I don't think we win this one. I think I've played too poorly. Golly, now we got lots of wraiths. Nice. Yeah, wraith is a fucking perfect, right? On top of the blind, you get to fucking light burn the, the poor fuckers as well. Uh, look this way and hopefully nobody makes it in time. Oh, close, close. Do I hear the Claudette around me? I do. Let's see here. I wanna kick that. You are here to touch the gen. The second I let go of it, yes. And we're only at four stacks after all this. That is no bueno. Mm, you're gonna have a dead heart, I bet. Oh, bless. Uh, can I possibly? Nah. I'll hit you. <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine? I'm gonna have to watch out uh, regards to who is who here. Should make an April Fool's type of patch notes for this game, like Death Slinger shot now hit skin. Hell yeah! I think there's lots of potential there, right? Lots of uh, image and the such. Fuck it, I lose the stacks. Unsurprisingly, you did have that hard. Now you're in a position where you cannot get flashy saved. Only three hooks in. So it's not going good overall. Uh, eh. Put Fang's mins on... Oh, Fang mins! <laughs> when the timer was on 8 seconds, gotcha, yeah. That is pre pretty mean, yeah. There is a, like, I got baited hardcore, like, yesterday or something, whenever it was, by a team having, like, four, uh, they had, like, three flashies on or something like that, and then I put on Lightborn, and they removed it last second. <laughs> so I brought Lightborn, even though they didn't even intend on, on doing flashy stuff. So that came back to buy me in the ass, the hardcore. Uh, I just have to hit you, regardless of who you are. Okay, you are not the obsession, less. Is that, a, is that a hard or did I just miscalculate that by a great deal? Up, 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 up. Uh, 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 uh. Mm. Dead hard, yeah. I think this is gonna be another uh, full on, you know, dead hard gamer squad. How the f Fuck right now, dude. Oh, you greedy motherfucker, dude. God damn. Holy shit. These guys are... Cracked. Slash on crack. V110 is so fucking sad. The amount of time they can just hold this like this for. I'm surprised she didn't just come right back. Way over here, doesn't give them any room for doing fancy stuff with. Kick. They can be putting progress on a different gen this whole time. Uh, yeah, go and touch that, please. But I guess you're smart enough not to do that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Cool. 
I guess it doesn't even matter. There was two of them on that one. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Wait over here. Reload. Uh, there you are. That was not a hit, dude. What the fuck? Did I just aim at the wrong spot? That felt like it was right along his path. Then after all this, you still have that hard, or sorry, not that hard, a uh, DS or some shit, I bet. I think that was maybe a little bit too far away. I think you have that hard, right? You're not going to be so bold if you don't. Haha, <laughs> dude! <laughs> that was a hit, but that hard, once again. Once again, the fucking iframes. <laughs> oh my god. I'ma get you. I'ma get you. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, you. Flashy save or something? No, you're dead. Bless. Voice crack. Uh, you. I'll be happy with two kills here, honestly, not gonna lie, dude. These guys are pretty fucking good. Pretty relentless as well. So I can have two escapes here, I'll take it. Or two perks. Well, I guess two kills and two escapes is the same. Just a weird way of saying it. What's the perk that lets you go from down state to injure state? Uh, is it unbreakable? No, what are you talking about? Unbreak these nuts on my face or something? Is that what's coming? <laughs> my stat is that that I just fucking... I just do that to myself. Uh, okay, the good news is that I will gain stacks. So I can do this, and then... Do this, and then... Do this, and then... Ah. <laughs> nice. I'll take it. I was just wondering, okay. I really thought it was going to be a, you know, unbreakable these nuts on my chin or some shit like that, dude. Uh, let's count to 60. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Dirty mind. Listen, I just had, it's more like PTSD rather than a dirty mind. Nineteen. 20, 45. I think you should be safe now, right? Mm. Ugh. Put these socks on your dick? How oh, did I talk about... Did I talk about socks? What happened? Uh, by God's miracle, we were able to get three kills there, and I guess we did have to play dirty towards the end, but, I mean, holy shit, dude, these guys were fucking good as hell, so... Ugh. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, uh, three dead hearts, the one circle of healing, just have 1k hours and play this way, ah ha 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 ha. <sighs> Salty gaming has been identified. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <sighs> I'll have you know, Nova, that I will hold you responsible for my whatever happens to me this next match. If I either have fun or if I have a miserable time, I will hold you personally responsible, my good sir. 
and I just want you to know that, okay? So if I have a miserable fucking time and I just want to fucking go to sleep, that's gonna be on your conscience. And you best be willing to deal with that. Because you made me play Legion. What do you mean, why you? You're the only person in chat asking me to play Legion. I don't see anybody else requesting it. What the hell are you talking about? Didn't force me. I mean, sure, it didn't force me, but you're still asking. And you know, what, what kind of streamer would I be if I refuse, right? What kind of uh, what kind of twit TTV person would I be if I just fucking refuse to listen to my beautiful boys and girls? I guess I'd be the kind of streamer that doesn't do Kiss Wednesdays, and dare I say, such a streamer, it's you know. So it's, it's a sad state to be. No one is doing Shrine of Secret Predictions. I mean, we're going to do some Shrine of Secret Predictions right now. I'll say, look, here's my predictions, right? I'll say it's going to be Red Herring. Uh, alert. Hmm. Deadman switch. <laughs> fucking far map. Fucking kill me, dude. And it's gonna be... Medgrit. <laughs> and it's gonna... It's gonna be... And again, the the bold uh, Scrubin's predictions. I mean, that's the thing, right? I, I, I give zero brain cells to the shrine of secrets at this point in my life. <laughs> Because I, I went through the grind of unlocking every single killer and every single perk. So now I just don't concern myself with that uh, that particular part of DBD anymore. Uh, I don't see anybody else, but I guess. Okay, never mind you to drop it. I only use for the shrine now is to get blood points whenever a cheaper one comes out. Ooh. Yeah. I guess uh I guess I actually could go for, for the blood points. I, I feel like once upon a time it would be like, oh, you know, you, you the the amount of it takes I don't know, it takes fucking twenty matches to get the amount of uh, shards in order to get like three matches worth of uh, blood points, so why the hell would I ever do that? But now that I have more shrine or more shards than I know what the fuck to do with, I'm actually starting to see the appeal. Maybe it was actually, yeah, I think that that generator did not have anywhere near as much progress as I actually thought it did. So that was actually pretty fucking stupid of me. Doing well for now, Nova. This is the first like two seconds of the game. Give it a little bit more time. See how that goes. Ah, uh, not quite. That was a little bit too sticky. It's not gonna be easy to pull that off. Uh... Unless you have Dead of Heart, I think you're in trouble now. Bless. Don't play this game that much and I'm not interested in the buy, so I'll get whatever saves me time to do other things. For sure, yeah. Like, that's the thing, right? I am in a very, uh, I don't know, unique position, I guess I could say. That girl is AFK on hook, and I will take full advantage of that. Well, not anymore, actually. Fuck. <laughs> I guess I'm in a very unique position. In the sense that, you know, I play this game, like, at least, you know, three hours a day, every single day. Because I am a DVD streamer. The <laughs> I am the lowest of the scum. Right? But that is very much not the case with uh, anybody, right? 
Anybody what the hell I'm talking about? I'm the only DBD streamer, guys. Nobody else is. I'm the, the most unique little snowflake you've ever seen in your lives. You get what I mean? Like, most people aren't streamers, right? So most people aren't going to be playing this game for as much as, as I am. So for sure, I totally get that, like, the Shrine of Secrets is a big deal in terms of uh, just saving time. Both in, if you really don't give a fuck about the shards and you just, uh, win the blood points. You know, getting, like, an, an extra, like, potential up to, like, what, 800,000 or something like that. Every single week. That's, like, super solid, right? Uh, Dana is doing work. Uh... What are your predictions, my beautiful friends? What do you think is going to be in the Shrine of Secrets? If you want to be really spicy, you pick like four killer bricks and you go, listen, it's going to be the first time in behavior history that we have four killer bricks in the Shrine of Secrets. If you want to be particularly bold, I suppose you can make that call. I think it just went around or what? Oh, never mind. Oh, shiz. Head on, right, 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 right. Oh, you're fine. Are you fine over here, though? Yeah. I'm getting bloodlusted. Oh, just you wait. Dun, 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 dun. Doing really good so far, but you never know when it is going to slip through our fingers, so I better keep my... Keep my wits about me. Just wait until we're a little bit closer, that way hopefully we get to hit both of them. Even if one of them will still be injured, or maybe even both of them would be injured, uh, at the very least. Oh, now they got a mend. Yeah, let's see how brave y'all are. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. This man's taking the risks. So many hooks and only one gen? Yes, sir. Although then again, you know, it is four of them alive, so you never know when uh, two gens are about to, like, pop out of nowhere. Damn it. Well done. I mean, he is giving up lots of pallets. So I guess we do have that going for us. Hello, wife. Welcome on in. How are you? How was your stream? How you doing? I'm stuck! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, that pallet is dropped, but... There you go. Bob. Pop. Pick you up. Throw you on the hook. Uh, yoink. Let's see. Somebody got a cleansing? That's like a cleanse animation, right? Not a boon. Using so many pallets, they really are. Which is good for me. Hopefully they get rid of a... Uh, I feel like this... This, uh... Map is already one that doesn't necessarily have a ton of pallets, right? Mm, I'm gonna go for that girl, actually. Eh, will I? I no, I'll go for this bill, I guess. Try to keep this power alive. Mm, 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 mm. Fucking shit, I hit the wrong one. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna have a pallet here because your friend was very eager to drop it. Especially against Legion, yes. Legion is, you know, a fellow that once, once you're injured, he, do, he hasn't got too much of power. So those pallets are really gonna hurt him. Trying to make sure you can save him, if you're able to. It's definitely the play, right? That's the idea for sure. Uh, I saw people like barbecue around here, but corn vision is not easy. <laughs> oh, no, those, those are bones, not a person. Guess I'll go back to that gen and try to catch on to whoever's uh to find one person oh perfect uh, pallets already dropped dun 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 
Don't know. I think you will be dead if I catch you, right? You were on a gen, so yeah, that's uh, the best move for me now. <laughs> I was like, is he really going to try to cycle that? Respect, my man. Respect. <laughs> you dead indeed. Uh, cleansing more bones there. I wonder if they have like a daily or something, like an archive. Because there's a lot of bone cleansing action going on this match, it would seem. You're way over there. I'm gonna try to like zone you out, kick this gen. Hey, I live Aaron. Welcome on in, my friend. How are you doing? Hope you're good. How is your Tuesday? <laughs> Hello. Which guy which of your which is your favorite version of Hello? Like we could say that, you know, like uh, is it a high or is it more like, a, you know, like a, an Elo? I feel like Elo is very good. I like that one personally. That'd be like in my uh, top top three for sure. <laughs> Ewo Uvu. Oh, two, two of them actually. Nice. Ewo Uvu. Uh, I think you're the only person who is not dead. So I don't actually know that going for you is worth it, but I guess I'll roll with it. Evuvu? Is that what? One. Evuvu. I don't want to be like so far away from them, even though I want to be far enough to get barbecue information if I can. Decent, I guess. First week of work done, but I am now sick. How are you doing? Uh, I'm sorry to hear you're sick, my friend. But I'm happy to hear that it seems like you're doing decent apart from that. So in the very least, I'm happy to hear that. Uh, I'm doing I'm doing good. Good day, you know, fun, fun stream. All that jazz. Had some fun matches, so on and so forth. So I cannot complain. I am solid. Legion? Yeah, not not a million years, Nova. No, no. <laughs> I played a match of Legion. Then you made me play another one, and here I am slaving away. You're not gonna make me play a third match of Legion today. Not a chance. You're gonna have to pay me a, a lot more water bottles. Or if you, you know, if you, if you, if you, if you want to make a 500. I feel like I stutter way too much when I fucking am, am streaming. I, I say stuttering, by the way. So I think I need to get my shit together. But, uh, if you want to make a 500, I thought I'd call it $500 or something like that, right? Then I'll pay, I'll, I'll, I'll play Legion again for you. But for, if you're talking water bottles, I'm afraid it's going to have to be in the millions for me to play a third match of Legion on the same day. Why not? It's going so well because this is the rare, rare exception, my friend, of the Legion match that goes pretty okay. But we all know that in reality, most Legion matches do not end this way. Trickster, you got it, my friend. I like the sound of that. Uh, am I just gonna have to slug you? I might have to do so, yeah. Guess it depends on where you go down. Yeah. It's slugging time. I think she caught on to what happened here. But hey, I can slug you just fine. That's no problem. Got scammed. Listen, there is no way you spend those 500 channel points actually expecting me to play Trickster a third time. Not a chance. That being said, if you really want me to, I am willing to play another match of Trickster. <laughs> Why not? Or sorry, I'm willing to... What am I talking about? I'm willing to uh, to refund you. Not play another match of, of Legion. God, no. I, I think I said Trickster instead of Legion, so that's fucked up. But uh, I, I meant to say uh, Legion, and I will not be... I, I will refund it. I will be refunding you. If you want me to, is what I meant to say. <laughs> oh. So that was uh, all, all sorts of fucked, I'm afraid. Uh... Dun, 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 dun. We can have a bit of a... We can add some gaiety to things with this girl. We can... <laughs> we can... Tell you what, let's play a little game. Don't play the third match of Trickster, right? <gasps> oh, look at that. Where are you at? <laughs> let's play a little game. If you find Hatch, it's yours. You're gonna wiggle out. So I will let you 
Because, like, now she can't go to the back to the corner if she wants, but if she does so, there will be no hatch for her. So now we'll play a little game, as it were. Are you going to be able to make it to hatch? Or are you just going to go right back to that corner? <laughs> mercy or no mercy? What are we thinking? She has her, she has her earphones on because she doesn't hear the hatch. Mercy or no mercy, fellas? How are we feeling? How are we feeling? No mercy? Okay, one vote for no mercy. What else we got? What else we got? Always mercy unless he's toxic. Okay, one mercy. Legion never mercy. Listen, let's it's not let's not bring Legion, Legion into the equation. Legion's uh he's, he's got multiple dis mercenary, personality disorder. Okay, two 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 to one so far. Sweet eight. Mercy or no mercy? Okay, two mercy, two no mercy. What do we do then? Mercy's mercy. <laughs> I don't think I have a choice. Is the thing even? I mean, I guess I could close the hatch, but that's not fun, right? Stupid cats is mercy, therefore mercy. And close it. Now nah, you can have it. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you go. Ugh. Good match. You didn't. You didn't pay for to, for me to kill the last person. If you had spent the twenty five hundred, then I would have to do it. But uh, nobody did so. So nobody got scammed. Why did you ignore the votes? I didn't ignore them, Billy. It was uh, it was two votes. It was one vote for mercy, right? Then two votes for no mercy. Then my girlfriend picked mercy. So there was two two. And then she she claimed that the cat picked mercy, so that's three to three to two. But maybe she scammed me, and actually she can't understand what the cat is saying, and maybe the cat does not understand the concept of DBD and, and mercy versus no mercy. Who knows? Who knows? Right, and you know, and I'm I'm simply trusting my girlfriend that she's not lying, and that the cat actually did pick uh, no mercy. Is it true? Or sorry, mercy. Is it true? I don't know. You can vote to yourself? Nah. I feel like if I vote myself, there's just kind of... I don't know. I feel like I'm biased. You know what I'm saying? We need, like, outside sources who will be able to completely unbiased, unbiasedly uh, cast votes. You know what I'm saying? That cause you 1,000 bottles of another ma or another match of Legion and not going to happen. Sorry, my friend. But another match of Legion, it will be at least 24 hours. Until you see me playing this motherfucker again. <laughs> Sorry to tell you. Whoops. Uh, da, 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 da. The cat is a very important vote. I mean, if you say so. I will not dispute. But I will make no comment towards such a thing. Why are you making her face, Tom? I'm not. I, don't, I didn't say a thing. Can you imagine? I, I didn't say shit. Whew. I was going to do some. I forgot about it. The Vara Hope Twins build where you leave Victor to guard the Hex. Uh, I've done that. Billy, I have done that, actually. Not by on purpose. But I did it, uh, I suppose, like almost like unintentionally, if you know what I mean. And it's worked pretty good in the past. Though there have been times where I just got fucking... Victor just got kicked and I wasn't able to, to get back there in time. But we, if you'd like to see that, just drop it in chat and I'll be happy to do it. And then we can we can see how it goes. Oh god. Just drop it in chat, my friend. Uh 
Uh, and actually lost track of who we were playing against in terms of like what items and stuff they have. Hatch in the main building. There is no such thing as a main building in this map. Uh, however, I will say that this uh, oak they put forward in a map such as this can actually be pretty shitty for me. Yeah. Oh my god. It took her a second for her to uh, react to getting hit there, goddamn. Oh. I'll hit her there just to make sure that the her knives don't decay in a second. Even though I figured I wasn't going to be able to fully injure her. I should trouble now or what? Oh my god, dude, all those fucking knives and none of them hit. Oh, you are kidding me. Oh my god, it's gonna start regressing real fucking soon, isn't it? Oh, that is unlucky. Ah, uh, dude. I just fucking gave her a fucking bit of a shave. Those are so close. Unlucky. Uh, gonna be two people. Oh, nice. You waste of your speed boost. Nice. <laughs> like CTBH, you got it, Oliver. We can do it next match. That'll be my pleasure. Because I think, like, uh, Devourer is one that I do normally uh, bring on on the twins. Oh, um, no. Circle of healing. I don't even hear it go down. Oh, there you are, yeah. What? What? I thought I saw somebody around the corner here. Guess I'm losing my mind? Question mark. Interesting. In case you're confused, I'm not playing that build, I'm not even playing killer, not even streaming, but <laughs> I guess he's talking I guess uh Alloy's talking about OB Billy. <laughs> Assuming that is the case. But hey, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they want to see you play it. <laughs> it's like shit, you get you gotta start uh, streaming now. You simply must. Tough, bit tough. Just slow fall back. Yeah. Smart. Is that hard? Nice. Oh boy. Hey, Les. Welcome. How are you, my friend? Keep up 4k. I mean, here's hoping, but it's not going so much our way. They got these boons, and it's not helping. I can tell you that much. That is not... Oh, so you did not heal yourself. The boons are not helping the cause. Okay, I guess we can make use of the gen regression at least. Bonk. Bonk. Fine, just chilling before I go to bed. Sounds like a good... Thing to be doing, my friend. Happy to hear you're good, and I hope you have a, a, a nice time of chilling. Uh, they're up there, right around the corner, so I'm not gonna risk going through that pallet. Uh, once again, the boons. They got like two around, so like the, the entire map is gonna be booned. And circle of uh, healing. D -d -d. That's not good for me. In the slightest. So depending on how those boons operate, I might just have to camp out this girl. Oh, nice. At least it's not a shadow step as far as I understand it. I think I just gotta camp this girl, yeah, I'm so sorry. 
So very sorry, man, but these boons, I uh, think this shit is going to be not doable at all. If I don't take the opportunity to kill you right here, right now. There's somebody on that gen over there. I think they've given up on her. Yes, nice. Well, let's try to stop whoever's on that gen. Circle of Healing is okay. Matter of Shadow Sap the whole map? Yeah, 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 for sure. That's the thing, right? Like, it's, Circle of Healing is still really fucking powerful in its current uh, form. But if it was like, you know, Circle of Healing and Shadow Step together, which is not that rare of a combo, that would be, especially in an indoor map like this, that would be super mega fucked. So it could be worse, for sure. Yeah, we just gotta break it. Ta, 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 ta. Not easy. We have like one hook across the rest of the three survivors. This is gonna have to be one hell of a comeback. I think you're in trouble now though, right? Especially because you're already used your dead hard. Uh, uh. Let's see what we see with barbecue. Maybe two of them on the same? Nah, I would have the scorpions actually. I don't see anybody else on a gen. Shit. It's not the best. Because we don't have like Tinker to let us know when gens are about to pop either, but I guess the idea is to hold these three. No progress there. Somebody way at the end of that hallway. Tiny little bit of progress here. A lot of progress here. Fantastic. We know what to do then. Cool. Rescue up there. Try to go harass them. So the idea, I reckon, would be to go up here and then catch this guy again. Yeah, nice. Perfect. Uh, perfect, perfect, perfect. You have that hard. Nice. I wish we could have the main event, uh, main event saved, but no such luck. But overall, we're doing an okay job of coming back. But that is very much all thanks to the mag already being dead. Have another pop. We we'll lose the main event, sadly, but. Wasn't really a whole lot that we could uh, get done with it there, sadly. Mm. That hard on you, and you might be that on hook actually. Hopefully you are. Nice. Are you that on hook? Let's go find out. Fifty-nine. So definitely got to reload. <laughs> Yoink! You're not shit. Oh, the scorpions. Okay, that's good. Okay, that one over there. Uh, don't know how much progress they have. One of them is gonna have to let go of that gen. Or to save, right? But I suppose not necessarily. Hopefully, don't have a ton of progress there. Uh, well, rip, rip in pieces. They got plenty of progress on it. Shame, shame. I have a guaranteed two kills here either way, so I guess that's the, the best we're going to be able to do, sadly. <gasps> no way out. Oh, oh, actually, maybe we get away with... It. What the fuck? Absolute gods and ninjas. Oh my lord, dude. I did not hear this girl coming for a second. What the hell? Well fucking done. Uh, I don't know if she's caught on to the fact that, uh... Ah oh, man, I might just go eat a DS now. Fuck it. 
Honestly. Let's see if you got it. Probably do, right? Uh, and, okay. Maybe one kill. <laughs> Maybe one kill is good enough, guys. Let's not be greedy, right? Let's appreciate the humble beginnings from whence we come from. And accept the one kill that we have. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that was a really good move by the Fang though. Great job. That is like sneak a hundred. Oh, very well done. Guess I should have uh, kept track of the fact that they could come from the top. And maybe done it that way. Yoink. Aha. More blood points. Cause it could it could be a 3k. If she hadn't gotten that rescue then, so great work. However, sadly for us, that was not the case. I never actually realized there's so much crap around this side. Like, that'd be a pretty sneaky spot for a survivor to hide in. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Huh. Uh, where's this fella at now, though? I feel like she's... Ah, I mean... Where the, he's, he would have to be in a pretty bad spot in order for me to be able to hit him twice. Even a stricture with the knives? I feel like he'd have to pretty much throw for him, uh, me to be able to get him at this point. Good work. Yeah, two kills. Very good survivors. So it sadly did not go our way, but... It was a fun match, though. Although it only resulted in two kills. So good stuff. Oh, did this fella have to, like, escape through hatch or something like that? Maybe so. Maybe that's what it was, right? The one DS that we ended up eating, which is very sad. Oh, never mind. There was two, so. Then that was a shadow step, actually. Oh, it was one circle of healing, one shadow step. So good thing that we didn't have to deal with it. That was on the mag, plus a uh, brand new parts. Interesting, interesting. I didn't... maybe it was like that first boon that I stepped on. And I guess I didn't see it uh, come into action too much. Which I will not, ladies and gentlemen. I will not complain about. <laughs> That's for damn sure. <laughs> oh god. But yes! <sighs> it is time, ladies and gentlemen. Huh, for what? For more killer. <laughs> Would anybody like to pick a killer for us? Otherwise, we can do... We still have a... Let's reroll this. Fuck a doctor, right? Plague and... and... I don't like plague either. <laughs> Shit. What should we do then? Who should we do? We haven't played either of our main fellas today. Let's do a bit of a blight action. Why not? Let's go with blight. Why not? Dare I say. Then I don't know. Maybe in like uh, 30 minutes or so we can play a different game. Eh, Siege or something? That's like our number two game that we have uh, fallen accustomed to playing, right? Time to do all night at number two. Did you do all night at number? Is it what eleven thirty for you? Did you do all nighter yesterday, my friend? That is wild. Oh my god! I don't know if that's good for you, my friend. Then again, I suppose that does go without saying, doesn't it? K. 
cake. Oh, nice. Some good uh, double blood points. I should have brought uh, some of my own, actually. Sure isn't, but I missed work Monday. I can, can't can take the risk to sl oversleep. I mean, but at the same time, going to, you know, going to, uh, going to work at, uh, with, well, like, fucking on 48-ish, maybe even more than that, however many hours without any sleep. That's pretty... I might not be any better, I'm afraid. Coffee. True, true. Actually, it's fucking OD on coffee. That's a very valid point, actually. Ugh. Alrighty. Oh, hello. Uh, damn. Although I think I got a hit here, right? Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Wouldn't waste more than 30 to 5 hours. It happened once in work. I worked for like 20 to 5 hours and fell asleep everywhere I could stand. I mean, yeah. I would expect that to be the result, right? Surely. I mean, that is just like nothing short of insane. That many hours. Uh, you're gonna have that hard guaranteed. No fear. Oh, it's gonna be an awkward that hard for you, so. You didn't quite have what you needed to use it. Then I get home, start sleeping, wake up at 9 and start watching Scrooge. I mean, as as long as you get some sleep, my friend, I'll be happy for you. Even if it's not, you know, if it's not under the normal uh, schedule that you would expect a person to sleep on, right? That is totally good. However, it does sound like you could use uh, some Zeds, that's for sure. Where did he go? Ah... Uh, Okay, and that's not a hit somehow. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm so confused by the way this gentleman is playing. I'm not gonna lie. So we still get a hit. Okay. Whoa. Oh damn it. Fix the rhythm at the weekend, gotcha. Is that your strat? You leave, you leave the, the weekend to deal with the uh, deal with the issue? They used almost all god pallets? Yes, less. They are dropping pallets like it's nobody's business. To be fair, this map does have plenty of them, right? Like, there's tons and tons of like tiles like this where they all have like quite uh, strong uh, pallets. Uh, this guy's probably gonna... Oh, thank God, dude. I knew, even before I fucking knew that this was gonna be a close one. I barely just managed to make it there. Bless. Uh, kind of bad RNG on these scourge hooks, though. They're all upstairs. Uh, what to do the rest of the night? Uh, some productive, I'd say. About learn how to play an instrument, my friend. Learn Get an acoustic guitar. And play the fuck of that acoustic guitar, I think your neighbors are gonna love you. That's almost regress to nothing. Hit plus pallet, great, yes. That, that's like the best scenario, right? Getting the, the pallet to go down and getting the hit as well. Why literally does not get any better than that. I mean, I suppose that's all- I mean, that's the same thing, right? Slightly different, but the end result's the same. <laughs> Uh, I don't know that I stopped that even as Blight. Because if I get there, I'm not going to have the... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Dude, uh, this perk. Up, 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 up. <laughs> yes. That must be like 99 to hell and back, surely. Uh, 
Fuck. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be close. Yes. Bless. Ah, oh, shame. Ninja skills, it seemed uh, as if... Uh, I don't know which survivor you're talking about, but there was a, a couple fucky walkies down there, right? By the Steve and by that Meg. Uh, it's not sustainable, my friend, I'm afraid to tell you. There we go. Uh, naturally that hard, but at the very least we did get the pellet out of the way. They're fucking, they're gonna be running out soon, goddamn. What, 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 what? What the fuck, dude, this fucking ace is on some fucking bullshit. Okay, he's just going forever. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I don't know if he went this way or if there's somebody else. That doesn't fucking help. Yeah, there's somebody else. The ace just disappeared completely. Sounds good. Alright, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Meganazer fucking up too many pallets? Yes. He, uh... Stunned 10 times, flashlight saving another 15? Yeah, exactly. Like, it, it doesn't really do anything, right? Like, if you stun the killer in such a context, it doesn't really, like, do anything at all. So really, what you are effectively doing at that point is quite literally just, like, wasting pallet after pallet after pallet. So you are... Totally correct, my friend. It's not the play from them at all. Mm. Oh. You're brave. I'll go for you as well. Get everybody injured. Mm. Nice blight. Thank you, Billy. It is, he is one of my favorites, for sure. So I do have a fair bit of uh, practice with him. This could be a save for that guy though. The Steve. It will be, yeah. Nice, nice. They're in dead zones everywhere. Here's hoping. Because they used like, yeah. They used tons and tons of pallets. Oh my god, I can see her butt cheeks. What the hell? Nah, fool me once, bro. You have that hard, so you're not gonna... Let me get you that easy. Oh my god, somebody was over there. Nice. Uh, this fellow's dead, though. That's gonna be another hit of... Uh, pain Resonance. Uh, who are you? The ace. That was the other person that had the, the light. You have to be careful with this guy because he just he likes to disappear. Uh, that was a late that hard, but still didn't work out. Uh, let's see here. Uh oh, <laughs> what happened, ace? Did you run out of your light? Because you fucking flashed me uselessly out of power 27 times in a row. <laughs> this animation has him holding the cane for balance. Yeah, it's really cool. It's like, uh, you know, the, the animation team and all that of DVD, right? Usually knocking, knocking it out of the park as usual, for sure, I think. They always do a fantastic uh, work. A fantastic work? They always do fantastic work. I think is how you would uh, say that sentence if you want it to be grammatically correct. There's still a boon somewhere, though. I gotta be mindful of. That is a really cool detail, for sure. Uh, and now, I guess a pop over here will be worth it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't know where the frick the rest of them are. Uh, not over here. We do have Tinker. Ah. Bonk. 
Did we see a few had that hard? We did not bless. Yeah, no, we only got to see your butt cheeks, know your perks. Uh, we have really bad RNG though when it comes to the fucking. That is so sad. When it comes to these scourge hooks, I guess at the end of the day we're fine though, right? Should be able to win this. Do you think BT should be base kit? That's a bit of a rough one, honestly. I think I wouldn't mind BT being base kit. But if that were the case, I do think they would have to rebalance the game around a little bit to make it more favorable for killers in like some certain ways. Because the you know the issue is not even uh, BT being like base kit. The issue is more like imagine survivors with five meta perks, you know what I'm saying? Like, you think it's bad now where you go against a bunch of survivors running like four meta perks again and again and again? Think of survivors that are going to be running uh, five meta perks now because they're going to have BTS base kit. That can be like pretty, pretty rough, you know what I'm saying? So I think with a bit of rebalancing, I think it could work. But like, at, you know, as of right now, this second, if they just gave BTS base kit and, and did nothing else, I don't think that would be good. Hey, Toy Stoto. Welcome on in. How are ya? Aw. I would say if Killer was in radius of the hook and hook with 70% slower hook gauge. Killer average rate was 2.5. The balance game is 2 kills. So do I ever need help already? I disagree completely, Billy. I think, uh, you know, it, like when it comes to, oh shit, like super low MMR. Like, baby survivors and that kind of stuff. I do think, yeah, like, that is the reason why, when you look at the data, killers have, like, so... Uh, or killers seem... That was so stupid of me. Killers seem to have, like, the advantage, right? It's because of the uh, all the baby survivors giving 4Ks to killers, like, easy peasy. But if you go, like, you know, uh, the higher MMR you go, I feel like the, the survivors already have way too much shit going for them. And don't get me wrong, there's definitely plenty of bullshit on killer side as well. But I don't think the survivors need any help whatsoever if you're like in the uh, in higher MMR. Uh, there we go. Uh, you're not that on hook, I don't think. Talk about baby survivors or about baby killers, that coin has to size, but that's the thing, right? Is that, like, I think the killer is very survivor, or sorry, killer-sided, or the game is killer-sided, when it comes to, uh, uh, like, uh, at the beginning, MMR, you know what I'm saying? You can't just deny stats. Well, Billy, how about we put it this way? Nurse is the worst killer in the game. Because Nurse has by far the lowest uh, kill ratio in the game. Therefore, she is dog shit. You can't just deny stats. Like, that's the same logic, right? Because you have so many, like, baby uh, nurses that don't know how to play Nurse that messes up with the numbers, and then it makes it seem that if you just look at those numbers with, uh, you know what I'm saying, tunnel vision, it makes it seem like Nurse is actually way worse than she is. You know what I'm saying? But actually... She is fucking unbelievably fucking good. And if you were to just look at the numbers, like, well, Nurse needs help. You should buff Nurse. Absolutely not, dear God. It's just because, like, she's hard as fuck to play. And it's kind of the same with, uh, with, like, Killer and Survivor. Where it's, like, you know, baby survivors. Like, if you put a game, like, right at the beginning, right, of, like, brand new players, the Killer is usually going to come out on top. Because a Killer just has to go around, like, whacking people. Survivors, you know, have have a much harder time uh, trying to figure out and understand. They're like, oh shit, I'm actually supposed to like do gens and loop, you know? Instead of like just hiding in lockers all game long and not doing anything. So, uh, I think the, the you know, overall the, the game is 100% survivor sided. At, like, not even close. 100%. There's plenty of bullshit on both sides, which I don't think is good. But if you're talking about like, you know, survivors who know what they're doing, and killers who know what they're doing, the game is a thousand percent survivor sided. I think, uh, so like, you know, survivors with five meta perks, absolutely not. I would like CBT being base kit, yeah, but I think it would require some, uh, some, what do you call it, some, uh, rebalance of like certain things of the game. And I think like communication would be a, a good one. 
I think uh, if they were to give survivors, like solo queue survivors, or, like a communication wheel to make it uh, people like every single team be able to communicate with each other, that would make everything a lot easier to balance. Because right now it's a little bit tough. It's a little bit tough. It's very tough because there is such like a massive difference between a uh, you know a team of survivors that can communicate with a swift and a team of survivors that can't communicate. So it's really hard to, uh, it's very difficult uh, to balance something that's going to be like, you know, good for, for both sides. Maybe nurse is easy for a man to escape for base survivors, a good nurse, like for example, Vol Vulpixia. Vulpi that's a cool username. Vulpixia. Sounds very exotic. Survivors have many survivors side of the map. I can think of a good map uh, killer for the game. Absolutely, Les. 100%. It's like most maps are super survivor sided, which is a bit of an issue. I feel like killer, I don't even know, man. I feel like there's a, a single killer sided map in the game. I honestly do not think there, that's the case. I think I think there's either really survivor sided maps or like maps that are okay for both sides. I don't think there's a single map that's like killer sided. Because like, I guess because survivor, you know, if, if a map is giant, that benefits the survivor. If a map is tiny, it can also benefit the survivor. If, if they're coordinating and shit like that. While the killer, you know, can only really get benefit of, of the sm smaller maps. Survivor pings would be super useful. Not like mappings, but like killer here and shit. Yeah, Charlie, I think so too. Like, so, like kind of like pings and stuff like a, a fucking, you know, Rainbow Six or whatever. But like, imagine like a wheel that just says like, I'm being chased right now. I'm doing a generator. I need healing. Nobody's coming to rescue me. I'm going to rescue. You know, I'm, I'm doing a gen. Like, any of the stuff. And maybe don't make it so powerful that you can, like, put a ping, like, spot on where the generator is. So you're like, I'm doing a generator over here, so it becomes absolutely effortless to, you know, for you to know where everyone else is. But I think just a thing that says, like, I'm doing a generator doesn't, doesn't, you don't need to know which one it is, but you just need to know, right? They're like, it, there's a person on the hook, and I can communicate to my team, hey, I'm being chased by the killer right now. And then somebody else can communicate, oh, I'm on a generator, and then that person, you know, the third person can go, oh, shit. That guy's on a hook, that guy's on a generator, this person's getting chased, I should go and rescue, right? Because right now it's really tough to balance for DBD, because on one half you have teams that can communicate with each other, right? And it becomes really, really tough. And then on the other half, you have teams that uh, can't say a fucking thing amongst themselves. So it becomes really... Uh, it's just like two entirely different things. You can have one that's like really powerful for one side and one that's like really bad for another. So I think if you decrease the, the difference, right, between the two of them, then I think it ends up being like way more, uh, what do you call it? Just way easier to balance for, for both sides, essentially. Prison killer perking to be a buff in fairness, so make good spear first runa, like get stunned twice since they break third. So many options for perks and survivors are good killer perks are fear far between. I don't know that I necessarily agree with that, Charlie, personally. I think there's a lot of really good perks for killer as well. I don't know, I feel like it's kinda like the entire game on its own. Like even if you were to remove the perks and everything. I guess the survivor meta is better than the killer meta, I suppose. So I guess perks do have some play in it. But I feel like, to be fair, there's a tons of, like, really good killer perks as well, you know? Like, you have these, and you have, like, Ruin, and Starstruck, and you have, uh, what what else is good? Like, No Way Out's amazing, uh, fucking Noed's busted, right? The Save the Best for Last is great. So I don't necessarily think it's, like, it's the survivors having better perks. It's more like, I don't even know, man. Maybe it's, like, the core of the game. And definitely, some perks are more troublesome than others, you know? Like, that hard. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about that. <laughs> Uh, DBD perk to your list would be huge it would be huge my friend as in it would be massive because there's like a hundred of the fucking things that being said I think we could definitely do that yeah why not uh, although to be fair there are a lot of perks that I have damn near no experience with whatsoever so maybe I wouldn't uh, <sighs> maybe I wouldn't you know I wouldn't be able to give a 100% accurate representation of those perks because I have very little experience with them because why the fuck would I put myself through that? But 
I think it would be fun to, to do that at some point for sure. Super for twins where you get a notification that someone is doing a chest open for real and Coupe the Grass sucks. Like my, yeah. But some, to be fair, you know, no Maida for survivors as well, but there's a ton of, of perks. And I guess killers tend, killers tend to suffer mostly from them. Where, man oh man, they are fucking useless completely. Portion of the killer perks, a lot of hexes, which are completely useless against a good team of survivors. Yes. Uh, I think that the issue with hexes, that's like an, another thing on its own, right? It's the how many times do survivors just spawn on top of a hex? Nah, nah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nova. <laughs> no. Pick another one. We have so many. Why do you want Legion? Dude, I'm gonna... Oh, man. I'm gonna fucking retire from streaming. Because every day of my life, I'm gonna have to deal with Nova picking Legion and Melon picking Spirit. And every day of my life, I'll have to play those two killers. And it's just gonna... If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> a hug? <laughs> Who's hug? Are you are, do you mean hag or are you giving me a hug? Because I appreciate the hug, my friend. Onion, you got it. Far frente, fra, frat, ligi, legion, legion, legion are absolute wit. You will enter spells on honom. They are into rolling alls. They are wit. They your wit ont till me. Mit 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 hjärt. Quit on to put in. Yerta, you mean? Yerta, yeah, for it. Hag, you got it, Les. Onion and Hag. Oh, dude, I forgot about dude. I forgot about the midget build. Okay, we got we got a few picks, but I forgot about the uh, the the midget guarding the hex build that we were meant to do. Oh my god, that was wide. <laughs> that was loud. Sorry. Hell yeah. What are you gonna say? What else do you want me to say about well, it? No, I'm, I'm fucking thirsty, dude. You're thirsty? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you can't even go out straight. I sure can't. They're sleeping. <laughs> Fuck. I need a glass of water. Maybe a list about killers, adept perks, like who has the worst and who's the best. Like of just uh, their three perks to, to put together, I suppose. Could do that too, yeah. I think so too. Billy's S for Tinker plus Enduring, you know? Uh, I would say Billy's up there, yeah, for sure. Like, Hag is up there because of the Vower and the Ruin, right? But yeah, uh, speaking of uh, the Hexes, right? The issue, I think, with the Hexes is more the fact that uh, there's too many dog shit. One, it's two issues. One is too many dog shit Hex totems or Hex spots that should not be Hex spots at all. It's like we're going to put in the middle of, a, of the map next to a tree out in the open for everybody to be able to see and there's going to be no cover. And it's like, why? Like, who the fuck went into the thing and were like, yeah, that's a good spot for a totem? Like, no, that's ridiculous. That's num issue number one. Issue number two is when, regardless of whether or not it's in a good spot, a survivor will stop, will respawn, like, right on top of it. So you can, you know, you can, like, bring uh, Ruin and Dying, and you're bringing a perk that all that it did is it made the survivors waste, like, 15 seconds at the beginning of the match because two survivors can spawn on each of your totems. And just like, you know, not have to look for it, not have to do anything. Just like, oh shit, it's, it's right there. I As the camera's rotating around, I see the bones r right over there. It's entirely possible for you to just have two perks out of the match within 15 seconds. And you know, it shouldn't be a thing. It really shouldn't. I, I don't know, like it should be a thing where your fucking bones are always going to be somewhat hidden. And your bones are going to spawn or like a minimum distance of like the closest survivor or something like that. And once again, I think uh, every uh, yet another issue, I think survivors should always spawn grouped together and far away from the killer. Because I think survivors spawning all spread out is a huge issue. If they all like, get on a gen immediately, it makes uh, the totem spawns harder to balance because of that. And maybe that's the reason why uh, sometimes they spawn close together. And it can also screw over the survivor sometimes because sometimes you spawn... And there'll be like a, you'll be staring at a survivor. You'll like turn a corner. It's like, oh fuck, there's a survivor. I'm in a chase within like three seconds. That's also like not good, you know. So I think they should spawn together, but very far away from the killer. And I think that will be a bit of an upgrade for both sides. So we're gonna do Hag and we're gonna do Oreo. After these, so that sounds good, my friends. Nurse is the best. Thanatos plus Nurse, kind of the best. Also, most hexes are into mid building where you know what to totem. For example, Midwish Library. Yes. 
That is also true. Or uh, the swamp map, right? The one, you know, the, the two rocks. The two infamous rocks. Can also be pretty fucking dog shit. But yeah, like, hexes are pretty fucked for sure. Hmm. I think we got, I think speaking of bad uh, hex spots, I think we got two pretty awful ones. I think we have one where Victor is, which is quite obvious, and then we have one at Killer Shack, which is also just as obvious. So sadly, uh, that Devourer might not last so long after all, but then again, I suppose the, the whole idea is you have a Victor run security, right? How come I can see you? There's gotta be a... That's not a hit. Okay, sure. Man just teleports to me and drops the pallet on my noggin. That's cool. I don't mind that. Uh, but yeah, I guess it's gotta be... Oh boy. I, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I lost track of what I was talking about. Not gonna lie. Oh my lord, dude. Who's following you? The cat? Sorry. Uh, that's a bit of an unsafe one though. Yank. Alrighty, you go right over here, we kick this. What? Oh, dude, he fucking runs out. I forgot. Damn it. I totally forgot the uh, Victor runs out after some time. Whoops. I guess this plan doesn't work that good after all, huh? Wonderful. <laughs> Two fucking... Both my totem pots were just given out for free. That sounds... That sounds about right. <laughs> oh. I think I might, I might play a uh, Siege after this. Not gonna lie, I kind, kind of had enough of killer for today. And I feel like the uh, the survivor cues are gonna take a little bit too long. Uh, you know what I should be doing, honestly. I should be chasing these fellas from a different direction, but I figured you were gonna leave the loop. Uh, in the very least, now I can use my thing, though. Uh, that was my mistake. I should have. The lunge wasn't as good. Apex DBD, ah, what to play? Uh, based on the experience I've been having today with DBD, I will say Apex. Because <laughs> it's been a bit of a, a bit of a thorn on my side, not gonna lie. Oh my god, this woman has no fear, dude. Uh oh, so that gen's gonna go, that gen's gonna go. Uh, <laughs> you're just standing next to them. I think she tried to, what, do the gens with them? She's around here somewhere. She has to be, right? Bro, what the fucking actual hell is going on? I do not understand in the slightest, not gonna lie, dude. Like, where did you, were you not in the, like, right next to them? That's what it looked like. And now I do have to take a bit of a risk. I don't see anybody. I feel like if there's anybody close, I'll be able to see Killer Instinct, right? Uh. Bonk. Ugh. Yeah, it's a bit of a tough one. I literally don't make it there. I guess I'll just go ahead and try to kick this one. Bum, 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 bum. Righty. And now. Let's see. Hello. Ah. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. I will take an exchange. 
Uh oh, somebody's made a bit of a fucky wucky. <clears throat> Grab game, fellas. Come on now. <laughs> You're fucking kidding me. There are no fucking hooks, dude. Even after I do all this fucking shit, it's like, well, you can't capitalize on it. I don't think I even make it to basement, bro. Oh my fucking god. Okay, I'm gonna have to be a bit of a scumbag here, but shit, it is what it is. And basement being over there actually screwed me over so bad, it's not even funny. I'm just scared of an unbreakable on this guy. Okay, cool. Why can't I switch to Victor, bro? What the fuck? Oh my god, this game! Fucking hell, man. Come back of the century. What you up to, bud? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I do this. <laughs> Come on, man. Just give this to me. <laughs> the fucking ultimate fucking stalemate, dude. Homies are gonna bleed out, bro. Shit. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna get you eventually, okay? Oh, wow. She need to have, she should have Shaq to work with, though. Oh, no. Damn. I've finally been outplayed. Alright, buddy. Now, I'll tell you what, though. Charlotte over here. She can break the pallet. Sorry to tell you. Mm. Right now, I think you're in a spell of trouble. Right, <laughs> and that's a 4K, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God. I right, worked down at the end. Thank you, Nova. That took a. They, they had to really mess up that rescue. Dirty player. That was fucking dirty. I'll admit it 100%. But to be fair, that was them fucking up massively. There was one. Them not rescuing me quick enough, first mistake. Second mistake, them allowing, or one of them allowing me to get the grab. Second mistake, right? Then third mistake, one of them, uh, this guy coming in so close that even though I was carrying someone, I was still able to get the hit on him and down him. So that was like a series of fuck-ups that led me to be able to do that. But hey, I'll take it. Huh. Definitely dirty, but we got there at the end. Oh, bad. Uh, bless. Now for some Rainbow Six. Hopefully a game in which I don't lose my mind as much. Oh, we, we came right back to the fucking... I guess I clicked the wrong button. Whoops. Ugh. 
Six game in a war, yes sir. That is the that is the official alternate ta uh, official alternate title. One hundred percent. Uh, no dead hearts. Oh my god. G gaze upon it, ladies and gentlemen. The the rare DVD lobby in which there are no dead hearts whatsoever. This is rarer than diamonds. However, that was uh, <laughs> that was the uh the detective's hunch. And the counterforce, which was very uh. Very unfortunate given the the bones build that we had. Don't deserve that well played. I, they were doing really good up until that mess up. You know what I mean? To be fair, I I feel like they were doing really generally well. If it wasn't for that a uh, bit of a, a fuck up series that they had, we were definitely going to uh, get fucking annihilated. It was the the match was definitely headed that way. Okay, dude. Fucking Ubisoft. It, like, it disconnected me, right? And it's like, God fucking damn it. Here I go having to uh, log in again. And then I just I just click on remember this account on this device or whatever, and it just logged me in like that. I guess I just hacked myself, apparently. That makes no sense. Let's change the stream category. Shooting people. <laughs> oh my god. In the face. I feel like in the, the in the face add some layers of to, to the joke. Nice, I guess. It's definitely way nicer than me having to put in my shit again, right? <sighs> way better than me having to uh go and put in my password and put in my email and blah blah blah. Rainbow fuck rainbow six siege update. There we go. Are playing the other video game, Rangoku? Huh. Five v five capture points around a modified skyscraper match where teams fight to light the altars and gain the most favor. Complete the event challenge, and earn rewards. How oh, very interesting. There are some potentially cool looking skins, but like... Uh, how about you... Is there like a skin that I can get here or what's the deal? I'm very confused, not gonna lie. If I manage the rig... Well, is this what I get? Cause like I'm seeing these skins, are these skins a, a lie? Can I not get them? Because they're kind of cool looking. I, mean, I probably wouldn't wear them myself. What's this? Ow. Purple. Yeah, it's dog shit for a fucking operator I don't even have. <laughs> hey, Cindy, welcome on in. How are you? R6 streamer confirmed. I will say it's my most played game apart from DVD on stream. You know? So there is that, so I guess a uh, semi-somewhat uh, R6 streamer, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck this is. The Devoted, the Possessed, the Rengoku. Oh my god. Oh, are these like... That's kind of cool. That's Capitão. That's somebody. No idea who the fuck this is. I guess I don't have a choice. I guess I'm, I'm this fella. Uh, I think this is the best shotgun by far right out of these. Then I don't really know between those. So it's shotguns only, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, you can see how I, I think this is the best shotgun, just given the fact that literally every fucking body has picked it. 
The altars must be left. The sun has a store of battle for dominance. And you now join them. Fight. Claim the flames. Claim freedom. What the fuck? What's happening? Protect the altars. Um. I will guide you. Wait, what? I'm so confused. To play Phasma and shit my pants. My friend, if you think that sounds like a good time, I support you. I have to... What the fuck? I can only kill them with... Oh no, you can kill them with shotguns. An altar is led by... Yo, this is so confusing. The devoted hold the flames. Okay, this is kind of like what? Capture the f not capture the flag. Well, yeah, not like dominance, I guess, or whatever you'd call it. Not capture the flag. How do you... Oh, you just have to be in the area? What an interesting game mode. Capture the point. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Not capture the flag. Because capture the flag, you have to like bring it over, right? To somewhere else. There's an enemy! The fuck? Why did he shoot me? Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is wacky. We are winning, though. I am somehow, I've been on 38 HP for the longest time, and somehow I am still fine. I don't know how, but... Also, why the fuck is it BC and age? Oh my god. So confused, the not gonna lie. Way to be it seems as if like the shotgun only does damage if it's like from really up close. I know it's a video game, right? But like closer than normal given Siege in particular. Oh my god. There you go. The possessed gain of flame. Oh my god. You can just sit here and protect this, huh? Oh what this is like Ha. Ah. It's like smoke? What does that do? The possessed ignite flame. What does that do, gamers? We're definitely doing super great though, so that's pretty nice. That being said, I do not feel I do not see myself playing this game with this game mode after this is done. Oh fuck! <laughs> Rip. Are they coming through that window? Oh, there was a bit of a map rework here, right, right. It's not like a, a, a lapel window like it used to be. Duh, ow. Now I'm getting my fucking ass kicked. Ah. What? Where'd that one come from? Behind me, I guess. People seem to be very interested in uh, like that. Shit. Oh no, to buy two kills. Whoops. An altar led by the devoted. Dude, they're they're both in the same room. Fuck. The hey Wes, welcome, welcome. Uh, games are going good. Had some fun DBD ones, had some rough ones. Today I feel like it was one of those where uh, some games were like super chill, others were like really, really sweaty. 
now we switched over to Rainbow Six. We're trying this new game mode that is all sorts of wacky. Though I guess it's like interesting. I will say, uh, as I've already mentioned, I don't see myself playing this game mode ever again after I I do it the once, the one time. But I suppose it's cool and different. So you will not hear me complaining about that. Can I defend this from outside? Can I go like. Oh my god. Team's kicking ass though, so good work. I like double their score damn near. Alters will move in 10 seconds. Our flame is helped by the Get sniped. Ow. The hold the flames. Oh, there's another one, huh? Wait, wasn't there using the gr this one and the other one? They seem to do the same thing. The devoted oh, have gained a new flame. Look. Back here. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Not going to kill my brain cells with Phasma. I'll kill it with CS. That sounds like a good time. CS go seems like a fair bit of fun. Am I aware, fellas? <laughs> Outplayed. Halfway to You're halfway to victory, that means we are like two inches away from victory. The guy just DC or something, what was that? Oh dude, I get it. Like the this thing with the blue. Like if they stay on the blue, it injures them. Good. There we go. Good stuff. Team did really good. That is so silly looking though. It's the weeb event. Yeah, I did quite good. 19 and 6. Good stuff, good stuff. Although there was somebody that who did even better. 27 11. Impressive. That was actually kind of close for 5%. However, should I play CS though? <laughs> no, it kind of made me want to play CS. I'm not going to lie. Should I do that instead? Should I do good old CS go instead of this? It's this. Welcome back. I want it. Give it to me. Why is it that when I click it, nothing happens? What's the point? What is this garbage? I see the renowned boosters. You already own all of the available items. That's some bullshit. I have zero boosters. You're a fucking liar. You're a fucking liar, Rainbow Six. I gotta play some some CSGO. Uh, why not? Sounds like it could be fun. That was listen. That was the the Rainbow Six uh, stream for the day. The fun thing is that we, uh, oh my god. Sorry, Counter Death Strike, isn't it? Playing I'm playing Counter Death Strike. What the fuck is Counter Death Strike? Uh, Global Offensive, there you go. Dude, it's a little bit stupid, dude. I swear to god. Oh, my fucking tags are cleared again. Are you fucking kidding me, man? That is annoying. It's so annoying. This fucking godforsaken game. Every fucking time.
It starts with a master volume set to a fucking hundred, dude. It does not, I change it in game. I set the shit in game to be fucking quieter. And I set it on the volume mixer for it to be quieter and it fucking blasts itself to max volume every fucking time I fucking open it. It is so unbelievably fucking obnoxious. It, do, it does not make me happy. It does not please the nut. I'll tell you that shit right now, dude. Premiere. What's Premiere? Nah, we'll do, we'll do the, the ones we know, right? <sighs> kind of like agency, but I'll keep it off. Let's do cash, Inferno, Mirage, Overpass. We'll add Nuke in there, why not? Uh, classic long match, why not? So this short match is kind of enticing, not gonna lie. <gasps> A snake bite collection case. Time to sell it on the community market. Uh, it's kind of it's an alright price, like fucking 20 cents. Hell yeah. Mm. Come on. Sell the fucking dude. I am so annoyed right now. Oh my god, why is it so bad? <laughs> you guys can see what's going on right now, but I'm trying very hard to make this thing work and it's just not working. Holy shit, skis, dude. Bam. Dust 2, I mean, we'll see, right? It's not one of my favorite maps. So hopefully it's not Dust 2. That being said, we do have to wait and see. If we do end up going there. Where's my... Where's my screen capture thing? I... Um... There we go. Hell yeah. Found it finally. I guess we can just go here and then go here and then do it this way. It's gonna be a little bit better if we do so. Bonk. Oh wow, that's good. This is how you do it, everyone. You just click as fast as you can on wait for the program to respond, and you just keep clicking till eventually, right? Trust me on this. Comes back to life. That's how you do it. <laughs> if any of you were ever curious. Alrighty, uh, Inferno. A perfectly fine one, dare I say. Uh, it's not going to say my, my ping just yet. Ah, oh, good shot. Oh my god, this man's over there. <laughs> Scary. I guess I moved it a little bit because I really felt like a hit, but... No. Shoot him in the head, shoot him in the head. This gun's fucking useless otherwise. Oh no, not a Glock. Though to be fair, there's no body armor actually, so... Put him burst. Ah. <laughs> that was not the play. I can tell you that much. For free. Uh, starting on CS side. Cool, cool, cool. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We're gonna go ahead and buy a good old vest. I think that gentleman just said eat ass, which hey, I can sympathize with the the sentiment, dare I say. Uh, shift to slow walk, you say. And what? Control. Oh god, I have to. Wise man. <laughs> See, you're a man of culture as well. Uh, they just rushed the piss out of me. Where's the fuck? Oh, what are what are my controls? Dude? They they rush they rush conductor. Sorry, uh, they're going B from behind now. These lads are insane. 
Oh my fucking bindings, man. I hate this fucking game. Why do the fucking siege does this garbage as well? They reset your fucking bindings. For no fucking reason, dude. Like, what is this garbage? Uh, duck, C. Walk, caps lock. Uh, call vote, blah, blah, blah. Use mic F. Try message Y, and then U. Okay. Like, holy shit, dude. Why is it so goddamn difficult to just keep my fucking binding saved? Because like CS:GO is not the only one that does this. Uh, the the other games or uh, you know Siege just as just as an example is really fucking bad with that as well, and it's super fucking triggering. I think we're up against some pro gamers. Oh, dude, this. And then it has the thing on where it switches my fucking gun when I pick it up. Holy shit, man. It's like every setting that I've ever changed this game, the game's like, dude, you know what? Out of spy, we're gonna change it back. Fucking kidding me, dude. Alright, hang on. Where would that even be? Where would the fuck would that even be, dude? Uh. Automatic killer replay. Switch weapon on pickup. No. Fucking no. I've turned that off. Why did you turn it back on? Motherfucker, dude. I gotta do like some sort of a... Uh, like research. Uh, CSGO changing back headings. Uh... Read only options not select selected. Ah uh, man, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we're in a position where we maybe are able to buy something now though. I think the P90 of death. Auto do me good or what? Let's see. Uh, two more on B at least. <laughs> that priest is playing the long game, dude. Look at this man. He's gonna, he's gonna hit him where they least expect it. Might be too late though by the time he gets there. I think we're playing a little bit too slow. Oh no, nah, dude, this guy's got a fucking knife though, so... So we're gaming. He's got like a karambit or something. It's gotta be worth like a couple hundred bucks, right? We're set, ladies and gentlemen. RIP! Out of a mess. Fuck it. Let's see what happens. They've gone B what a few times now, right? Should we? Come on, come on, chop, chop. Uh, try that again. Though maybe protect it from spots that make a little bit more sense. Mayhaps not push as aggressively as we did last time. It's a good spot, right? Lots of pings on A. I guess those fellas pushed up, so it's probably not B anymore, right? Fuck. 
I missed the chicken. Wait, did we just abandon A like that? Like what? You're telling me that this man... Well, to be fair, I guess maybe he heard me. I assume that's what it would have been. Uh, you know what, though? I think we're going to end the stream, though. I think we shall be back tomorrow, my friends. Whoops. I just opened lots of uh, things there. Bam. Shall be back tomorrow, as always. Thank you all, lovely people, for watching. I'll see you all around. Have a good one, gamers.